Hey everybody. Back where finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. The first comment that I see when, <laughs> when we go live is, are we back to sassy tonight? <laughs> yes. Yeah, let's just be sassy. Cheers. Cheers. Happy Friday. Everybody. We're back. <laughs> it's going to be great. Morning, Mom. I see you in the chat out there already tonight. They're going to be saucy tonight. They've decided to be saucy and sassy. We like to be saucy and sassy. <laughs> Although last week we had more watchers than we'd ever had. And we died Easter eggs. That was bizarre. We got caught up in some, you know, weird, whatever they call it, algorithm thing. Yeah. And had like 5,000 views or We something. had a lot of people. <laughs> we did. That was fun. It was really fun. It was. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of random people log on. So, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi. Go Cardinals. Yeah, they had a great game yesterday. Karen Radford, did you just buy a photo album on Jeffrey's sale for $200? From what I could see, it was beautiful. I could hear the, the. I was listening to we're, it, but I wasn't watching it. We're at a disadvantage. We're trying to get ready for this and listening at the same time so we don't, we, we miss stuff. Right. But we heard our name. Somebody said Fat Bird something, and then I was paying attention, and I think Jeffrey was just kidding around about running a little bit over. Karen's like, I she did. Said, I did. Oh nice. my God. Good that was you. exciting. Good job. So yeah, Aaron's here. Hey Aaron. Aaron had a um, collab sale with um, Alex today. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could have seen that. I know. Me too. I was working. I couldn't get away, but I, I wanted to be there. I bet Ruth Ann wanted to be there too. <laughs> Ruth Ann wanted to be there too. <laughs> I have a good, I have a really good Ruth Ann doing her best story yeah. for later. <laughs> we'll have to have maybe a drink or two before I can tell that. Okay. Uh, that'll be good. It's a uh, good one. I don't know if I'm down for it yet. Yeah. Like a drink is necessary. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that later. <laughs> Vintage Avino. Oh my God. I finally caught one of these. Cheers. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> Melissa, hey, hello, Melissa. welcome. Sorry, my voice cracked. Just the Doug is that? here. Vinny's here. I was trying to write my prices, Mary Beth. <laughs> of course, we're not ready again. Laura's making her list. <laughs> it's storming here. Here's yes. your warning. We've got a major lightning show happening outside. Dixie is down here between us, scared to death. She hates storms. So that's your warning. If we just all of a sudden are gone, it's because <laughs> lightning struck something. Because it is, it's impressive the lightning is out there. It it's, really is. We just went out to get some dinner, and it's it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good show out there of of lightning. Someone Thanks. someone said my hair looked pretty. That's nice. Thank you so much. Your hair always looks pretty. Oh, that's nice. She needs a Thunder Buddy. I don't know what a Thunder Buddy is. Like one of those jackets. A Thunder Jacket? We tried to put one of those on her once and she hated it. <laughs> she was just like walked around. I want a Thunder Buddy. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> what are those called? A Thunder Coat? Thunder Jacket? Thunder Shirt. Thunder Shirt. She had one. She hated it. It didn't work out. Post a picture of the radar. Let's see. Oh, wait, I can do it. You do it. You do something else. I can do this. Me do something else? Okay. Take us to the window and show us. Well, I don't think I can't I mean, reach. It's, it's not doing it right this second. I think we missed out on a lot of it. Oh. Oh, it just went past us. Oh, it just went past us. Yes. So we might be... Hi, Katie Garnett. We it might just, be good for a while. Whoops. It just went past us. So, oh, come on, focus. There we go. Yeah, it just went past us. So. That's the green dot is us. Yeah, but it was pretty impressive while it was here, so maybe we're good now. Yeah, I love a good thunderstorm, too, for real. Dixie, you're going to be okay. It's over. <laughs> you're going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay. Um, I feel like I was going to say something about the, oh, the Ruth Ann thing. If anybody, <laughs> if you're just joining us and you didn't see us last week, we had... A guest it was Ruth Ann mm -hmm. and she tried really hard all night and she did pretty good she did a really good job we called Mary Beth Ruth Ann. our postal women I was trying to be extra friendly with our ladies that work at the post office and make friends and when I went in um, Trina said um, oh I, I can't think it's is it it's 
it's um, Ruth Ann. <laughs> She was, it, I was so, so, <laughs> Trina Postal Worker did her best, too. <laughs> she did. She was laughing. I love and it. And so then, then it kind of caught on. Everybody started calling Mary Beth Ruth Ann. I need a name tag that says Ruth Ann. I and think I have something on my shirt. <laughs> and we had a sale with Stephanie. I see I see you out there, Stephanie. Yeah. We had a sale with Stephanie Tuesday night. And poor Stephanie, we had her afraid that we had called, that she's been calling Mary Beth the wrong name all this time. <laughs> Stephanie was like. God, have I been calling you the wrong name all this time? I'm like, no, you're good. It's we're all good. It's, sorry. It, yeah, they're saying we need some merch with some eggs and Ruth Ann on there. <laughs> that would be really funny. Oh, that's great. I think our next merch, Mary Beth, is uh, going to be a tote bag. Oh, yeah. She, my cousin Sherry's working on a tote bag. Is she? Idea. Well, not you know, like source. Nice yeah, for us. Yeah, I like a good tote bag. Me too. I'm down. I'm yeah. down for it. Everybody needs a tote bag for the flea markets and the um, <laughs> Stephanie. I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Carrie's like, I want your little dinosaurs on merch. Aren't those cute? I don't know. I was just trying to think of something funny to do today, and the dinosaurs just kind of stood out to me, so uh -huh. I just went for it. Uh huh. They were super cute. <laughs> okay. So if you're if you're brand new, if you've never been here before, and you have no idea what's happening, this is flipping and sipping. Laura and I pour ourselves a drink. We celebrate the the weekend and we sell five items at 9 15 so you've got just a few more minutes before the fat bird five where we will be selling five items mm -hmm. we usually play games we've got some game cards here to play and i think we're going to go through a little hey, bit of, of content although we don't have anything out oh here. i i know what i'm going to bring out here though okay so yeah we have a little bit of content i think jeffrey's probably still going because we usually have a few more people than this. So I don't yeah, think we should true. do the Fat Bird Five for a few minutes. Oh. Are you in charge? Who's in charge here? Well, it's not not Ruth Ann. <laughs> it's not 915 yet. They right? want Ruth Ann merch. <laughs> Maybe I need to work on that. Maybe I need to work on some Teespring merch just to have some funny, funny shirts like. Oh, uh, where we don't have to order a ton ourselves and right. stuff like that. That would be right. cute. I need Fat Bird Finds five out of five swung bases merch. I'm working on that too. I've been working on um, Look at Carrie. Carrie here. We're you guys can say whatever you want this week. It's <laughs> April 9th. You guys <laughs> knock yourselves out. <laughs> Melissa says, and it usually gets saucier as the night goes on. Yes. Yes. Jeffrey's running long. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Um, I did hear him say, I think Barb was saying something like, Fat birds of sorry, you're gonna have to just be patient. And Jeffrey's like, Fat birds can wait. <laughs> yeah, no, Barb said it was she was a lot sweeter than that. She's like, Oh, I'm sorry, fat bird finds like that. And Jeffrey's like, Fat bird finds gonna have to get over it. This is just life. This is what happens every once in a while. I love him. <laughs> He's so funny. He is so funny. It's so great. <laughs> Ugh. Washing and driving. Danny, be careful. <laughs> oh, Danny. Maybe Danny's not physically driving. Maybe she's like passengering. Angie Christie wants to stay in the comfy, cozy suite, adding that to her bucket list. Speaking it's expensive. <laughs> I hope you can save up some money. Is it? <laughs> How much is it? I don't know. It's, it's a lot. I didn't know that. <laughs> are you getting money? Yeah. You are? Uh -huh. How does that work? <laughs> I didn't know that was happening. What a racket. <laughs> Where is Michelle? I don't know, Michelle. Where are you? I'm going to Marco Polo her. <laughs> Somebody said, "Let's go." There's less competition. They want to do. They want to do this sale now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, you're going to mark Marco Polo her while we're on here. Yeah. Oh, this is good, Michelle. Watch this, you guys. Well, it's not really a watch because I'm just sending her a video <laughs> message. Michelle, we're on. Where are you? We're we're literally doing it right now, <laughs> and we're talking about you. So. Just, just wondering how you're doing. Hey, Michelle, how's the packing going? <laughs> yeah, I think she is like in major packing mode. Yeah, she is. She's That's shipping. Good. That's good for her. She's, she's mm -hmm. got her groove back. So, not Stella, but Michelle. Michelle got her groove back. Karen says maybe she's passed out in her pack material. <laughs> that could be. Very much. <laughs> oh, speaking of Lori and speaking of Sugar Bridges, she put oh. a new thing of us on Instagram. It looks, Hi, like, it looks like K-pop. And anyway, it's funny. 
It looks Are like you gonna show it. No, it looks like K-pop heavy metal is what it looks like. K-pop heavy metal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you gotta show it. <laughs> oh, look at me. Boy, I'm always a boy. Well, I don't know. That wasn't a boy in that clip. I think it was. I think it was a guy with his. I think it was a guy with his God, hair and pigtail. Was terrible. <laughs> so yeah, oh. Sugar Bridges did that. So that was fun. Hi, Southern Mermaid. Welcome. It's like it's a, rare a rare Friday night home for me. Mm -hmm. Nice. Carrie, I don't. I don't even know. Jody Rinshaw, hi. There's Michelle. She's excited that she made it. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Michelle, you like me at all? Sorry, I've called you out, Michelle. I'm Marco Polo in here at the same time. I'm not really sorry. That's pretty great. <laughs> so he's one, Michelle. That's what we said. Karen Radford said that you probably passed out in your packing material. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we didn't mean to bother you so much. We were just saying hi. <laughs> you can continue on, Michelle. Do you think that? This person's name is Innate. That's how I want to say that, but I don't know if that's right. She's on here a lot. I can, know. Can you write it out like phonetically? Phonetically. So we can say it correctly? Yeah, I want to say Innate, but I don't know if that's correct. I don't like I wonder to. if it's an I. I don't know. And um You will <laughs> phonetically tell us in the comments how we need to say your name. <laughs> hey Blind by Beauty. Welcome, welcome. Everybody saying hi to Michelle there. <laughs> hey, Helen Booty. Helen Booty. Yellow. Mm. A night. A night or a night. Oh. Do you think it's a night or a night? Now I'm confused again. <laughs> but at least we know that it's the, the last syllable. A night. A night. A night. We're trying. Speaking of Nate, where <laughs> is Nate? I don't know. He's been pretty busy on Instagram here lately. You I've know, seen Nate's never been one to be on flipping and zipping very much. I don't think it's the right time zone, time frame for him. MB is right. So it's a night. Yes, a night. I'm happy to finally know very that. Very nice. Thank That's you. That's beautiful, by the way. I agree. Is it? Uh, let me guess. Is it? Maybe I don't know. I don't what, know. What origin it would be. Oh, I won't. I won't. A knight. That sounds maybe like Egyptian or something. I won't presume to know that. <gasps> but yes, it's gorgeous. Love it. Is this going somewhere? It's Carrie. <laughs> Carrie, we're always going somewhere. <laughs> Where that is, nobody knows, but it's always somewhere. So thank you. Whenever you read something from Carrie, I always picture her little, <laughs> her little, what do you call that? I hate that I don't know what that's called. Her little picture next to her name because she's going. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how I picture her saying it with that kind of attitude. <laughs> hey, Sarah Lee. Happy to see you. We're happy. Oh, my phone thought that I said, hey, Siri. I didn't. I didn't. No. I, no, don't talk to me. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> hi, Sarah Lee. Hi. Welcome. Oh, that's funny. Michelle, what are you wanting? A free prize of some sort? Michelle wants a prize? <laughs> We're showing up on demand. <laughs> Carrie's like, Laura, that's exactly what I look mm, like. That's what I thought. <laughs> okay, people, it's time for the Fat Bird Five. You activated my Siri. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> hey, Siri. Hey, Carrie. <laughs> on a on a um, more serious note, I was watching the Today Show and I was thinking about you because they were talking about the sea turtles that got cold stunned in your big, huge cold freeze there in Texas, and they were re-releasing -re one into the ocean. Really? It was really interesting. I had no idea that happened to them. They can actually slow their heartbeats to one beat a minute. Wow. Danny probably knows about it because she's a turtle person. Danny has sent you a turtle. <laughs> That's exciting. But yeah, it was really cool to watch that. So anyway, I just thought that was interesting. Hi, Pam. Hey, Pam. Pam got a beautiful little flamingo from us the other day. Yes. Yes, we packed that up very... Nettie said you got her iPad, too. 
<laughs> That's great. We'll have to do that again later. <laughs> Wake everybody up. Jeffrey and Barbasel just ending and it was exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds fantastic. Yeah, it sounds like it was really good. Okay, guys, it's 9 15. It's time for Fat Bird Five. I'm ready. Are you ready? I, yeah, I've been ready. You're you've lived ready, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> She's not ready at all. She doesn't have any prices or any item numbers written down. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so while I give the rules, you write down all that stuff. I can do it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we've got five items here behind us. Each item is going to have an item number and a price. So we will give you the price and then we will give you the item number and the first person to type in the item number into the chat will win the opportunity to purchase the item. If you feel like you might be behind in the chat or lagging, right now is your chance to refresh so you can go out and then come back in. Make sure that you are in live chat and not top chat, that will help you. Also, remember that we do stream to three platforms. We go to Facebook, YouTube, and Periscope all at the same time. And so you guys do not see each other's chats. So we use StreamYard to stream to all three platforms. So we take the chat that comes in together on our end to determine who's first. Um, you will most likely appear first on your end. That does not necessarily mean that you're first on our end. So we do have to take it how it is on our end. Did I do it? You did it. It was great. <laughs> we will do invoices on Sunday evenings and we will invoice you. If you're a winner, we will invoice you the price of the item plus shipping. So if you are a winner tonight, if you win any of our five items, we need three pieces of information from you. We need your YouTube name and your real name. We need your mailing address and we need your PayPal email address. And you can send all of that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. Also remember that if you ever watch any of our haul videos or if we're ever going through a haul or going through a box and you ever see anything that you like, you can also send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. And that's really the best way to get something. You Be stole my line. That's what I always say. Before we put it in a sale. <laughs> okay. Great. Yes, we uh, had lots. We have lots of inquiries that way this now. Free range adulting. You don't have to. If you've bought from us before, we should, should have your information. If you've not bought from us, though, in like maybe a few months or at all, we definitely need your, your information. But if, you, if you've bought from us recently, we, sh we should have it. It shouldn't be a problem. We're, build we're building a fine little list. We are. Yeah. We're doing our best. I started a... Ruth Ann started a so. My <laughs> list today. Ruth Ann started an Excel sheet, so we're going to see how that goes. Ruth Ann and I aren't very good at Excel. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Ah. I'm pretty awesome at almost everything. Oh, you are, but I don't know about Ruth Ann. Oh. <laughs> hey, Tiger Lily. I feel like I've paid for at least a month of your energy bill by now. That's probably true, Carrie. <laughs> I, I, I hear that. Are you ready? Do you have a, a, a yeah, you don't have item numbers. Oh, uh oh. Okay, I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna do the intro. Okay, here we go with the Fat Bird Five. Uh, do you have the item numbers yet? Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> we probably have the same item numbers every week. You I know because they're just the ones that come right to my. The top of my head. Oh, wait. I need the spotlights. It's, it's because you told me that it was silly to spin. I was going to spin for them every week. And then you made me feel bad. Gotcha. Gotcha. Not I'm sorry or don't feel bad. Gotcha. Gotcha. I see. I, I, I'm with you. Okay. The first item that we have is this really interesting handmade uh, Bola Conte bowl. So this bowl is very imperfect. You can tell that it was hand done. It's, you know, it's a little wonky, but the wonkiness is what gives it its character. I love it. There's just something about it. I don't know why I love it so much, but it's just so cute. It's got the pontal mark here on the bottom. It's got the controlled bubbles in there. And it's then like like peeking, right? the sides were made to make it more of a square bowl, as you can see. But yeah. 
That's so cute. You can put your keys in there or your change in there or whatever you want. It's just a little personal favorite of mine. I just think that's adorable. It's a little personal favorite of Laura's. It's adorable. We love anything with controlled bubbles. <laughs> and it's only $12. It's only $12. Mm -hmm. It's $12. And it's number 41. $12, number 41. 41. You fill that up with M&Ms, it would be great. M&Ms. Or jelly beans, that's what... Somebody said jelly or beans. Or Skittles. With Skittles. Do you like Skittles? I kind of like Skittles. Mm. So the mermaid, it's the bubbles that make her love it. Yes. I'm sure that's what it is. I have Laura. Yes. I have Barbara and Bundo. Me too. That's what I've got. All right. Barbara, thank you. Wonderful. Thanks, Barbara. Thank you, thank you, Barbara. Hi, Dixie. Are you sitting on my feet? Erin, I love Skittles. Dixie, it's yes, over. Yes, vintage glass beads, maybe buttons, anything would be cute in that little bowl. I love that bowl. You're okay. Okay, next I have just a little green plate. It's a very small green plate. But look how pretty that green color is for that art glass and those swirls. Yeah. I love that. Just a little art, gla uh, art glass plate. You know, you. I think it's really cute. Like, you have over there on your little piece that's by your front door, mm -hmm. you have a little plate like that for keys. Yeah. And I think it's great because it's shallow and it's just easy to pick up your keys and, or it's easy to look over there and see whether your keys are laying there or not. Right. So you're not looking down in a bowl. And that one's really pretty. Right. So that would be pretty for something like that. Right. Or you could hang it on the wall. Very sweet. So it's got those really pretty swirls in there that are very nice. And yeah, I do keep a, a plate next to my door that I put keys in. So it's just kind of handy. And I don't know anything else about it except that I liked it. So I just, um, I'm just going to say $9. What do you think? I think that's good. And I don't see, I don't see any damage um, at all. There are a couple bubbles in here from where it was made. But I don't see any chips or cracks on that really pretty green bowl, uh, plate. Okay, so $9 for the little uh, art glass dish, and it is number 35. $9, number 35. It looks 3D. That's cool. <laughs> it is cool. I like it. Dixie, you're going to be okay. She's following me around. Dixie. I think we have uh, a here. new to us, a new to the sale aspect person that we got do. that one. Oh, a lot of people like that one. That was probably a really good price for that. Do you have this person? <laughs> yeah. Elaine Bagwell. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Elaine. Thank you. You, you may have watched a lot and just never bought anything. Or Maybe so. Or said hi. So, hi, Elaine. Congratulations on your green plate. I love that. That was probably really cheap for that plate. That's okay. That's fun every once in a while. That's something. We like, like to give deal. deals around here. Yeah. Okay. I have a casserole um, holder. Holder. I was trying to think of some fancy one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that wasn't it. Holder wasn't it. Holder was not what I was going for. I have just started watching. Yay! Oh, good. Well, well, welcome. We're glad that you're here. We love our new people. Okay, Michelle, have fun. Okay, Michelle, if we sell something boho, I'll, we'll holler at you. Okay, so this is just like one of those little things that you put your casserole dish in. What do you think this a is? A caddy. Somebody said a caddy. Like or a, a carrier. Is this a 9 by 13, I guess? I don't have a 9 by 13 pan. I think it is. I think that's probably what it is. I think that's what it is. Let me go get a tape measure. <laughs> um, so you guys have all seen these, the little straw flowers. The straw flowers are in, let's see, they're in decent shape all the way around. Um, this end's super good. That side I just showed you was super good. This end is super good. But let's see, the back has a couple of little places. The fact that it has a couple of little, like, um, I don't know, 
you know, like a little a couple of little rough spots right there. Okay, so that yeah, the inside though is measuring about 12 by 8. So the piece itself is 9 by 13, but the, on the inside it's measuring more like 12 by 8. If that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. Any Christy, what she say? Those are great to decorate in so that if you need to move it for counter space, it's a piece of cake. Oh, yeah, great idea. Yeah, just a nice little holder for some sort of vignette or something. Yeah. So, yeah, it's yeah. basically a 9 by 13. So the actual outside, you see, measures the 13. But if you're measuring on the inside, it's more like 12. So anyway, just wanted to be let you guys know. Wouldn't, yeah. that be, wouldn't that be great? Like if you, you know, if you're taking the casserole to, you know, a family that's had an illness or a new baby or something like that, it'd be fun to take it into something, some pretty little vintage thing like that. There's a few little scuffs here on the bottom. But yeah, that's really cute. So yeah, it's only $12. $12. $12 and it's number 81. $12 number 81. A lot of times they come in little sets, you know, that stack up. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like a Birkenstock sandal for your casserole. Who dish. said that? Chrissy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I was going to say, that sounds like something that Carrie would say. <laughs> okay. Here? Yes. Okay. I have Susan Funderburg. <laughs> Just so you know, Susan. Your name is like one of my favorite names to say out loud in the whole world. We were packing up something for you this week. Yes. And I was like, it's for Susan Funderburg. It's it just great. made it made me really happy. And she said it like a bunch of times. I did. It was great. I love that name. I do too. I think that's great. You sound like a superhero or something. Yeah. I that's what it. I think. I think of a cape. <laughs> when she when you say Susan Funderburg. Me too. Like, Man, she must have a cape. I know. <laughs> So anyway, thanks, Susan. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Oh, I've got to get the next thing. I forgot what I was doing. Yeah, you're in charge of that. You're trying to take a break. It's okay. You can take a break if you want to. All right. My son used to say it like Thundercats. Oh, that's great. How do you say Thundercats? I don't know. I used to watch Thundercats when I was little, but I. it's oh, been so long. Thundercats. Thundercats. Yeah, Thunderbird. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let you show this. Mary, I can't deal with it. Mary Beth doesn't like this. I'm going to go get a refill. But Ruth Ann might like it. I don't know. <laughs> Ruth Ann doesn't like it. <laughs> but look, isn't she sweet? It is the most 70s retro cute little Miss Piggy. Piggy Bank. She's got her little red Mary Janes on. And her sweet smile and her lipstick. There's her little coin slot there. Now she she needs a stopper. That's just tape. She's currently using some scotch tape. <laughs> Does she hog all the money? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, Misty. And hi, Misty. And I don't know, Misty, oh, Misty, you need to talk this little piggy up because this is something that looks like, just like something you would like. Mary Beth thinks I'm insane for selling this pig. <laughs> she has a little blemish right there that I, I don't know what's happening with that. Just a little discoloration, but isn't she cute? She's got pigtails. She is all piggy. <laughs> yeah. I just think she's, I'm going to get back for a, a little bit. Because when you get too close, it's kind of like a glare, right? Oh, look how cute. She needs, she needs some assistance here with yes. her stopper. She needs a new stopper. And she was very well loved. Oh, yeah. So she's got a few scuffs here and there. <laughs> There's a piece of scotch tape here on her top of her head that I have not tried to get off. But... <laughs> She's she's definitely been well loved, for sure. Laughing at Jamie. <laughs> okay, I love her. She's sassy. That's right. 
<laughs> and she looks kind of smitten, doesn't uh, she? I don't know. She's so cute. I don't know what she looks like. Well, she's just $14, and I just think that she's adorable. She would be so cute in just any kind of little gift basket for uh, anyway. $14, and she's number 65. <laughs> $14, number 65. Misty's like, she looks a little drunk. What's the quote? What's the movie quote for that? What? Oh, Kathy, you seem drunk. Yeah. A little yeah. bit. You seem drunk. A little bit. <laughs> Susan Funderburg says, she's me. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth, you might be right. When am I not right? That's the question. Oh, that's the real question. Right? Man, they, yeah, they let me down. Mm -mm. <laughs> Corey didn't. Oh, Corey, my new favorite person. Corey. Cheers, Corey. Cheers to Corey. <laughs> Corey, we're going to send you some stickers too. Very nice. Don't Thank even forget. You so much. I just said that. We're gonna, write that down. Okay. We're going to send Corey some stickers. Thanks, Corey. <laughs> love it Michelle you just outed yourself I'm gonna tell if you're gonna put it in the chat then I'm gonna tell okay <laughs> okay we showed this in this week's video this is one of my favorite things that we've ever found by the way this is a little donkey in his little cart oh I love this and he's like a little caddy so he's carrying Salt and pepper that look like barrels. That one is the pepper. Yeah, if you look it up on eBay, I think that's actually what they say. They say five-piece condiment caddy. This one's the salt. It's got a little bitty flea bite right there by one of those little uh, holes. Mm -hmm. But those are shaped like barrels. Here's the little sugar. The little sugar barrel. Oh, and here's the creamer. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite things I think we've ever found. I love that color green and, and with the black trim like that. That's so uh, mid-century. So here's his cart. Let me show the bottom of him. He's marked Victoria Ceramics, Japan. Victoria Ceramics, Japan on the bottom. Still has a sticker. Massey thinks that's funny that that's your favorite item you ever found. Well, it's one of my favorite things that we've found lately. I just think he's so she cute. She called you out on that. She did. That's okay. It's, she said, just kidding. Okay. I don't see any chips or cracks on the donkey with his little cart. Here, you hold that. Mm -hmm. And I don't see any damage on the cream and sugar. Whoops, sorry. I was too That's low. cute. Jamie was saying it would be cute for taco night and put like... Salsa and guac in there. Oh, that would be cute. That's a, that's a really cute idea. And then here's the salt and pepper. Again, the only damage that I see is this little flea bite right there by one of the salt holes. There is a little imperfection in the glaze right there, but that's not a chip. That's just a little imperfection in the glazing. So there you go. Oh, he's so cute. Look, he's green and white. It's just adorable. He's $25, Mary Beth. Okay. $25 for this little donkey and his gear. Yes. And he is number 28. Number 28. Number 28. Misty says, I like him, MB. Thanks, Misty. Mm -hmm. Proud American says, make it a hot dog cart. Wouldn't that be cute? Mm-hmm. All right. Awesome. Okay, is this the first person you see? Yes, that's who I have written down. I have the Vintique Scavenger. Logan, thank Logan. you so much. You got it, Logan. Thank you, Logan. Love your name, Logan. I do too. I think that's fun. So that concludes our Fat Bird 5, but you know <laughs> what Jeffrey says, we always have like more <laughs> items than we say. Fat bird 10, fat bird 6, fat bird 18. Eight. <laughs> we have a bonus elephant. Yay. We have 
this little stinking cute guy. Speaking of carts, he has a cart as well. So he's pulling his little cart. But his... Um, his um, what? Go ahead. Southern Mermaid was just commenting on your really pretty little chunky, bittersweet vase back there. Oh, thank you. Your dreamsicle looking one. Thank you. So he's a pincushion, though. This little guy is, uh, his wagon is a pincushion. So that's adorable. And he is marked uh, Made in Japan there on his little foot. There we go. Fat Bird 5 or so. Fat Bird 5 or so. That's right. No spin it to win it. We'll do the bonus elephant spin it to win it. Yeah, we can do a spin it to win it on the bonus elephant. So there he is. He's just, you know, he's hand painted. Mary Beth, he's so cute. I love him. Yeah, he's a pincushion, Jody. So sweet. He's got his trunk up for good luck. Okay, so here's how we do the spin it to win it. If you're interested, he's going to be $15. Mm -hmm. Okay. This little guy's $15. We're going to give you the item number in just a second. So here's how we do spin it to win it. I should have a lady. If you're interested in purchasing the elephant for $15, when we give you the item number, we're going to ask that you type the item number once into the chat. Then we'll take the total number of people who are interested. Maybe it's 10. We'll take, uh, we'll spin a random number between 1 and 10, and we'll count your order of people who wanted it, and that will be the winner. Does that make sense? Yes. So we'll take the total number of people who are interested in buying, uh, spin a random number, count, and if you're the winner, then you'll get to purchase the item. That makes sense to me. Let's just ask, does it make sense to everybody else? Or the no. person who's asking, Vintage and Vino, does that make sense? Yes. Once you see it work, you know, you'll it'll be easy to understand. But No mystery box tonight, by the way. We, we've done a bunch of mystery. We, we did one last week with Stephanie, and then we did like several the week before. So we're about mystery boxed out. We've got to build back our inventory. Yeah, we've got a, a, several cute boxes of things, but we've got to show them to you guys before we can empty them out. Right. And, and use them. Okay, so he is $15. If you are interested, please type the number 17 into the chat, and please only type it once. 17 is the number for the bonus elephant. Seven. Oh, yes. It's it's win a chance to buy it, not yeah. win the item. Right. So you're, you're winning the opportunity to purchase. Correct. Number 17. Show us the boxes. We are going to show a box tonight. Yeah, we have a box to show off tonight. It's fifteen dollars, Jody. Sorry, I randomly made the numbers close together. I didn't really mean to do that. Fifteen dollars and uh, seventeen, but please only type in the number once. I'm gonna. You can go ahead and put it in there because we're just going to draw. Yeah, we're just going to spin if you're interested. Here, so if you're still interested, you can put your you can put your seventeen in there, and she's going to type the word stop. I think we should show the big box tonight, Mary Beth. Oh. <laughs> We've got a couple of boxes in there, but we got one that's pretty big. Seventeen. Oh, it's the element gonna, by itself. I'm gonna type in star. Okay. Okay, so I have 17. Yes. And it's just the elephant. Next, yeah. next week we'll do another mystery box. Correct. Yeah. Okay, I have 17. 17. Yeah. Great. So we are going to we are going to draw a random number or spin for a random number, excuse me. Okay. These are easier to see too. They're bigger. You ready? I'm ready. You're ready. <gasps> What's gonna happen? Eight. Okay, it's eight. Okay, so Laura, let's go back up to the top. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
That's it. Is that what you've got? That's what I got. Cindy Lou Who's Thrifted Treasures. Oh, Cindy Lou Who. Cindy Lou Who's Thrifted Treasures. You got it. Thanks. Thanks, that, Cindy Lou. That is yours for $15. So, yeah, that's how we typically do our mystery boxes because we always have so many people who are interested in a mystery box. And so, I don't know, we just kind of like to mix it up a little bit because we know that not everybody has the greatest internet connection. And so this just kind of makes it a little bit more fun. And kind of like a game for Friday night. Right. So Cindy LaHue, thanks so much. Yay, congratulations. Okay, guys, so if you were a winner tonight, if you were any, uh, if you win the opportunity to purchase any of our items, again, if you've not purchased from us before recently, we need your YouTube name and your real name. We need your mailing address and we need your PayPal email address. And you can send that to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. So thank you so much. And that concludes our Fatbird 5 for the night. Do you have any freebies? Freebies. I don't have any freebies. I will tell you something, though. We're getting, we're getting in some, some swag next week. I haven't told Laura about it. We're getting in a little swag. So, so that might be something that we'll have for sale for like, I don't know, a dollar or two that you guys can, can purchase and then we can send you something cheap. But yeah, we've got that coming. Hopefully I'll have those in to show next week during flipping and sipping. Laura's stories are free. Hey, we've got a good story later too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you we, got, have, we have no idea what's in this box. We've not gone through this box. Um, but you got the big one. That's what I said. That's good. Because it was just our $3 box. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting new sticker sheets. So we had ordered some sticker sheets and we had sent them to some people who buy from us a lot or who had sent us like gifts or, you know, trying to, to say thank you to some people, but we've got some, we've got some more sticker sheets coming. Laura wanted me to order some more sticker sheets. I've got those coming and I've got one more little thing coming that might be fun. Mm -hmm. You guys may hate it. Laura mm -hmm. may hate it. I doubt it. I ordered it without her knowing. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So yeah, so now we can sell the sticker sheets if anybody wants to add a sheet of stickers to their order sometime. We'll come up with a price. They won't be expensive. Maybe just like a couple bucks or something. But yeah. 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 Now what? I'm out of breath from going and getting the I don't know, but I've got to turn that fan on. I'm hot. <laughs> I started to say, I started to look up at you to see if you had your hair up. You started with your hair up. I did you? start with it up today. Misty, my stickers are all over my laptop. I love them. I oh, saw thanks, picture. Misty. Yeah, that's awesome. I saw a picture of that, Misty. That was fun. <laughs> Bring back Ruth Ann. She was my favorite. She's here. <laughs> Christy, can I reserve one now of whatever it is? <laughs> yes. Yes, you can. I put stickers in my prize box. All the first graders want them. Do we have any stickers? I need I need a piece of tape. Can you give me a piece of tape? What do you mean the and, fat, and the a fat marker stickers? You've got them over there, like you put them on the Easter egg. That's not what I meant. Oh, Thanks. scotch tape or like masking tape? Like scotch tape. It's fine. This is a totally different show, so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. We need swizzle sticks. I know they're so expensive to to buy to you know have made. I looked into we, it. We've been looking into it. I looked into it, and of course, me. If you know me, I just like <laughs> I like for things to be the best. It's a flaw, but I looked into like having the swizzle sticks made where you can like have them molded on the top with like a thing, and I wanted it to either be our bird or our little cocktail glass with the bird in it. God, it, it was like a minimum <laughs> order. Seriously, this place that I went through to get a, a quote, it was like a minimum order of like 5,000 units. And of course they were like a dollar a piece, 80 cents to a dollar a piece. I'm like, I can't do that. I can't sell a thousand swizzle sticks. You can get them relatively cheap, but they're just plain with a circle on top where you can stick your logo inside the circle. Right. I can get those for like 
You you want the die cut ones. I wanted the die cut I ones. I know. But I can't afford it. I know. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, it's okay, thanks. though. Thanks. It's a party now. <laughs> Ruth Ann. Ruth Ann needs one more glass of wine. Ruth Ann's here. <laughs> I made it. Okay. Oh, Lord, I'm on it. <laughs> Karen, so buy a hundred or so. That it doesn't work like that. They won't make them for you for that little Yeah, amount. it was a minimum order. You had to get like five thousand units. Yeah. I was like, I I can't deal with that. Uh, my cousin orders shirts for us and it's really great because I mean she gets us smaller numbers than we would have to get otherwise. So that's really good. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Time for a corporate sponsor. Doug, are you offering? That'd be great. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> oh. All right. The name of this episode, the one where Ruth Ann shows up again. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys. You ready to see a $3 box of goodies? Was it $3? It was $3. Are you serious? Yes. And it said something like stuffed animals or I forgot what it said. It said stuffed animals. This was a this was an online auction. And I can't help myself. I have to stay away from it because at the last minute, if something's going for like $2 or $3, it doesn't matter what it is. I'll just put my number in there. Right. <laughs> so here's your... Here's your best like, what are, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I know. Yeah, see, I was in charge of bidding, but Laura like went behind my back for this one box and bought it. She's like, where'd that come from? I was like, I didn't bid on that. She's like, I did. It was only three dollars. I'm like, it was probably worth three dollars. Yes, it's probably that big in there. We have no idea what's in there. So here's your PSA for the day. If if you see anything in this box that you yes. like, we're not selling these on the spot, but if you see anything that you like, send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. And we'll work with you on a price. And we take, and we timestamp, I mean, you know, we take the emails in the order, in timestamped order. So, like, yeah, if you're interested in this pen. And that's that's come into play a couple of times. If Ruth Ann emails at 10 o'clock and Laura emails at 10.03, we'll, we'll work with Ruth Ann. Yeah, we, we try to do it in the order that they come in. Okay, let's do it. They're like, show it. Okay, okay. Show okay. it. Stop talking about it and do it. Um, this is kind of boring. This is just like, this is just gift boxes. Gift boxes. Hey, but they're still in the shrink wrap. You don't have your fancy little, you don't have your second camera. No, I don't. Hold on. Let me tilt this one up so I can get that. So yeah, these are gift boxes. They were originally two twenty seven. dollars Okay. Ruthann, you sit down in the shot and I will put, and I will use my chair for the box so they can kind of see that we really are getting the stuff right out of this box here. Well, I don't think I can tilt it down. No, oh, it's good. You got it. Look, okay. see, it's in there. It's fine. I wonder how many are in here. Three pack. <laughs> I think there's just three in here. Oh, oh wait, look. There's one more of those. They're for a robe, a sweater, or a shirt. It tells you exactly what they're for. And there's a partridge in a pear tree one. Hey, I kind of like those. <laughs> They're like almost our colors, right? Yeah. There's orange and blue in there. They look like that little fat birds on them. I know. Those aren't bad. I'm trying to remember what I thought was in here. I guess I thought, I think I saw the glimpse of some vintage Christmas something. I don't think those are bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is cute. This is, is one it? Of <laughs> this is one of the stuffed animals. You can show the tag. Yomiko Classics. Look, he's cute. Oh. Yomiko Classics. He's just like a little German Shepherd, I think. He's worth $3. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> worth $3. <laughs> he feels good. Maybe. He's cute. Okay, what is this? Wait a minute. Your mom just said, come on. <laughs> Joy. Mom doesn't like, mom is mean to me. She doesn't like it when I do junk boxes. Joy. People like junk boxes, mom. Come on. She just can't. 
She can't deal with it. What is that? I don't know. Let's see what's oh, in here. Oh, it's a tree skirt. Let's see what's in here. They're on a clothespin. This is a tree skirt. Oh, look. It's got a big deer. <laughs> what is she saying? Oh, it's got a hole in it. That's the back of it. Oh. It's got a hole in it, though. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. But look. There's a big, pretty section Why that doesn't it, have a hole. Why does it look like that? Oh, I see. Because it's round. I gotcha. Man, that is really something. You could put that hole in the back and nobody would ever know. Yeah. Let me show that close up. You can make it into a person skirt. <laughs> a person skirt. You could wear, wear it. Skirt. You could wear it. That is really oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's see oh look hmm. at him yeah he's kind of cute he's cute <laughs> he's not vintage he's made in taiwan but look that's cute look he's got little earmuffs on i like him i like him you don't like him i do like him i think he's cute he's made out of this little fake snow stuff here's a whole stack of fake snow Oh, we can just get rid of that. Fake snow. Let's see. Here's something else interesting. Maybe. Oh. What's this? Maybe that's just fabric. Maybe somebody was going to make a tree skirt. Oh, oh look. look. Wait. Oh. Is it a felt? No, it, it is a tree skirt. So it's a little vintage felt tree skirt. It says Merry Christmas. Wasn't that cute? And look, it's textured. I don't know if you can pick that up on the camera or not. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so it's imprinted, like with a holly pattern, and it says Merry Christmas. Michelle says, I looked up at just the moment MB wrapped herself in the tree skirt. I thought I saw Mrs. Claus. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> Merry Christmas. So that's just like a felt tree skirt. Oh, look, Mary Beth, here's another one. Okay. There's a green one. Here's a green one. And it's got like glittery reindeer and snowflakes on it. Gold. That's cute. It's like made out of glitter. Ooh, Christy, I don't have a jacket. Fake snow equals packing material. <laughs> oh, good idea, Christy. Very nice. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, there's another couple of cute things in here, maybe. What's this? Um. I think he's supposed to be a tree topper. I think you're right. He's got like a plastic cone on the inside. So yeah, he's meant to be a tree topper. I'm going to shift this up again. I'm killing my mom at the moment. <laughs> She's slowly withering away. He's not bad. He's not terrible. <laughs> you like him? Well, no, but he's not terrible. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, it's not my style, but some people like stuff like this. Oh, look at this little snowman guy. I bet with new batteries that his little snowball will turn all different colors. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I bet you're right. So, yeah, he's his little snowball there has a battery pack. Mom. What did she say? I'm sure she's... Just she roasting yelled, me. She yelled dying. Like, what's an exclamation? Joy. He's cute. We might have to bring out something else for my mom to look at. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in here? Um, look. Some, here's some little. There's a bunch of stuffed cute. animals in here. These might have to be yard sale or something. Really? I think he's cute. What else are we going to do with these? Here's some. Oh my God, you're What did she say? She your stop. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Mom. Joy. Hey, Katie Garnett, look at this. She's with her friends tonight. I bet they're really loving this. But look, you got to show this one to Katie. 
His name is Rufus, and he is a Habitat for Humanity teddy bear. But isn't oh. that cute? It's called Rufus, like, a, you know, to build a roof on a house. Isn't that cute? So cute. Katie, there's, there you go. There's a fundraiser idea for you. Home sweet home. There's one really cute Santa in here. I'm saving him till the end. Wow. Oh. There's a Garfield stocking. A Garfield stocking. Stuff it. Oh, look at this. I'll have to save this one for Max. Look how cute this is. Now, see, Mom, look. I found Max a stocking. Look at the panda. Oh, that's cute. He's super cute. Yeah, that's real good. <laughs> God, this Santa is crazy. Look at him. He's awful. Really? Yeah, he was $20 somewhere at some time, but goodness. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Why is he looking up? He's he's on a base, but he's, like, looking up. He's, What's he looking at? I don't know. He's lost in all that fur. He's terrible. Oh, that's – I don't like it. Yeah, he was $20, though. <laughs> I don't like that. I feel uncomfortable. Someone definitely had like a white and gold color scheme for their Christmas decorations. There's a couple of those guys. I don't know about all this. Yeah. The tree skirts were kind of cute. The tree skirts weren't bad. Look at him. He's really round. He's got a big round bottom. He says Noel. I think that's about it. There's just some yard sale stuffed animals. And then there's one little Santa left that people might like. This well, wait a minute. Cute. Those stuffed animals, Laura, everybody's saying they're not yard sale. They're big money on eBay. Yeah, see? The little the German Shepherd is, I think. He has an Easter, uh, Easter egg. Oh, look. He's been dry cleaned. Yeah, these ones in the box are not like those couple that we showed. They're like, here, you might as well just show them. Just show them all together. Okay. These little teddy bears so they don't know what I'm talking about. Little yard sale teddy bears. Oh, he's old. He's a Russ. Oh, he's cute. He's an oldie. Um... So, yeah, just, ton yeah, lots of little stuffed animals in here. But look at this guy. Now, he's pretty cute. Look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Maybe this is worth Isn't it. Isn't he cute? Look at him. Look at that face. I think he's really cute. I think that might be worth it. <laughs> that might be worth the box right there. Well, we don't have much. We don't have much dollars to make up there. Three dollars. Look at his face, though. And they're like his face is like rubbery, like rubber. I think those are like rubber bouncy balls or something. That's really interesting. <laughs> but I think he's cute. He's so round. Yeah, the pudgy Santa. I know, isn't he cute? I think he's really cute. That's really funny. <laughs> I kind of like it. He's like a he's like a big ball. <laughs> Venice Vinny, offer that Santa up and you will for sure make your money back. <laughs> He's pretty cute. If you're interested, send us an email. We take them in order of how we receive them. All right. Yeah, that was a $3 box. Yeah, all that for $3. That's not bad. I have, y'all have no idea what to price that Santa at. So if you email me about the Santa, the pudgy Santa, you just need to send me an offer. Yeah. And I'll just be like, yes or no. Yes or no. <laughs> but I, I mean, cause I don't know. I have no idea. The Santa didn't have any tags on him. He was unmarked. No, he was not marked. And he, somebody said something about gnomes. He does kind of look like a gnome. He does he? a little bit. I think he does too. Look like that. Well, uh, so yeah, let us know. <laughs> Not bad for three dollars, Stephanie said. Not I know, bad. right? You just can't pass it up for three dollars. We love boxes like that. Me too. I just love it. Because worst case scenario, worst case scenario, 
if we put all of that in a yard sale, we're going to make probably at least a few dollars. 20. Yeah. That's worst case scenario. Yeah. I'm in for it. Yeah. I like mystery boxes like that. I love them too. We've still got tins left. You know, we sold all those tins mm-hmm. and we still got tins left for um, Christmas in July sale. So that's pretty exciting. I'm in for it. Love it. Yay. Nice. <laughs> Good job. Good job to you. Ruth Ann, good job. Well, you did it. I didn't bid on that box. I wouldn't have bid on that box. That's right. That's my only one. <laughs> I contributed to the others, but that one was just me by myself. Congratulations. Thanks. Well Bye. done. Tell your story. I have a story. Do you want to tell the whole story? Like, Do you want to tell how the day began yesterday? Laura and I really had a day yesterday. Mm. I don't want to. I don't want to make you sad. What? What's it? What's the opposite of a five swung base day? Zero swung base day. Negative five swung base day. Can you have a negative swung base? I thought I thought of a broken the swung base. Oh, day. a broken one. That is it. Five broken swung base oh, days. Because wouldn't that be terrible to like think oh. you found this great swung base and pick it up and it be broken? Yeah. Oh. Yesterday was a, a five broken <laughs> swung base day. Do you want to tell how how it began, or is that going to make you sad? No, we can tell. Okay. Maybe we should back up in time, like a few weeks. Okay. Okay. So a few weeks ago, this isn't funny. I'm not trying to laugh. It's not funny. I'm not laughing. So uh, it's <laughs> it's only funny because of of Laura. And well, and okay, we'll we'll back up one more step. Okay. Okay. Because. Just to share the whole saga. Okay. Is I didn't share this with you guys because it was very sad. And now then a lot of time has passed. But but my dog passed away. Right. Like, back in January. Yeah, like, that was several months ago. Like on election day. And I knew I couldn't talk about it until right. until it had been a while. And right. She, and she was, I don't know, we think she was rescue dog, but she I had her 15 years, so she must have been 16, 17, 18. That's a long life for years a Years old. Dog. It is. Yeah. So anyway, so I am, you know, empty nesting all over again, animal wise. Right. But I have these guinea pigs. Right. To keep me company. Right. So Laura had bought guinea pigs for her daughter, Megan, four years ago. Right. Yes. Okay. So a couple of weeks ago, Laura calls me on the phone at like 11 o'clock. And she's like, I don't know what to do. I think one of the guinea pigs is dead. And I'm like, oh, no. And Laura was afraid to check. She was afraid to touch him. Yeah. Yeah. So I go over there at like 1130 at night. He was. There were two. There were two. One of them had passed away. He was curled up. Bless his heart. He was curled up in his little house. And so I just did not want to look at him. And I, I didn't want to touch him. I understand. I wouldn't have either. So anyway, I came over, helped Laura bury the guinea pig. That that was a few weeks ago. Okay. <laughs> We're out of, out of the yard. <laughs> it's not funny. We were out in the backyard. With a flashlight and a shovel in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'm sure we looked up to no good. That part I is... was out there trying to stand back as far back as I could, but I had my flesh like this, trying to be helpful. So that part is funny. I'm yeah. sorry that we're laughing. Yes. Yeah, Fast forward to yesterday. Yesterday morning, right? Laura calls me again. Mary Beth, I think the other one's gone. Because those of you who have guinea pigs and know about guinea pigs know that they're social animals. So he probably was lonely. Probably just, I don't know if they were. We were, we had read up on it. They need each other. They need, they need another guinea pig to be with. Right. And you had them for four years. Yeah. And I, and they were, they were identical in age. So they could have both just been an old age. They may have even come from the same litter. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. So we go over, I I go over there yesterday. Laura, again, didn't want to check on him and she had to get to work. She had to go to work. So I was like, Laura, go on to work. 
go on. I'll go over there and see about it and I'll take care of it. He was also gone. So I buried him as well and took care of it. That was yesterday morning. So then she calls me at like 10.30, 10.45 or so. And she said, Mary Beth, will you go with me to the post office to drop off all these packages? We had tons of packages. From Stephanie's sale. From Stephanie's sale. So I go over to her house with her. We pick up the packages. We go to the post office, drop them off. It's fine. Laura's like, I'm going to run to McDonald's real quick and get me something for lunch before I go back to work. I'm like, okay. So she pulls into McDonald's. We're about to pull into the the loop the, to go around the building for the drive through And Laura's car just starts running hot. It starts like smokes slash steaming everywhere. So bad. <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we're sitting there in the parking lot. Smoke. Have you told your mom this, by the no. way? So she doesn't know. And she knows my car messed up, but she okay. doesn't know the story. Okay. So we're sitting there in the McDonald's parking lot. And we're like, okay, now what do we do? Laura was like, well, call Nikki. Call Nikki to come get us. I was like, Nikki can't today. She, today's her board meeting day. So she had to be in this huge uh -huh. board, board meeting all day. Nikki can't. I'm looking at my phone because my family and I, we have like find my friends and we know mm -hmm. we, we can see where each other are. None of my family was, was in town. And so Laura calls her mom and her mom answers and her mom was at like Edward's house. Yeah. I didn't tell her what was happening because I knew she would drop everything and come get us. Right. And I was like, she was right in the middle of something with, with my dog. And I was like, Okay, well, this can wait. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that. Right. So, so we're trying. The the it's not a big deal. Except Laura was getting late for work. I yeah. didn't want Laura to be late for work. Was that was my whole thing. It was. And I was like, I can sit. It's gonna cool off. And I thought I could just put antifreeze in it once it cooled off and get it somewhere. And I was like, Laura, let me just walk home. And you're. She's like, you can't walk home. It's like no. In my mind, I'm thinking it's just right over there. It's just a several blocks away. It's like Vegas. It's like Las Vegas. It was yeah, like it was exactly. like I was at the MGM Grand and I was trying no, to go no to the Rio. Animals inside. No, 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 no animals in the car. No, 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 no. It was just Laura late for work. Yeah, I was talking to mom, and when when Mary Beth heard me say, "Oh, you're at Da's house," she gets out of the car and starts walking. I'm like, so oh, I get out of the God. car. I get out of the car and start walking toward my house to get my car. And I'm hoofing it, man. I'll like jog for a few steps and walk for a few steps and try to catch my breath. And just as a disclaimer, I am very out of shape. Like extremely out of shape. But man, I'm hoofing it, y'all. I'm going like as fast as I can. Cutting across parking lots and crossing these busy streets. I cross the street in front of the hospital. Just going. Somebody's they've, they've lost their train of thought. Our train of thought is that the animal. I'm having a bad day. I lost my guinea pig. This all the the last of all of my pets. I've lost all of my pets this year since the first of the year. That was my third one. So yesterday I lost the last one, and then this happens to me at lunch. Right. So it was just a really crappy day for Laura. Yeah. Anyway, meanwhile I'm hoping it across of like across Paducah. To go to my house, I'm like praying for somebody I know to drive by and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nobody drives by. Anyway, she's like, she's halfway across the parking lot. She's like, if you get that running, just come by and pick me up. <laughs> like, I'm not going to get it running. So I finally get to my car and I'm just like, <gasps> <laughs> So out of breath. I think I went a mile and a quarter in like 20 minutes. That was pretty good. I felt like that was a pretty good well, time. Yeah, you should. Uber? Yeah. Well, disclaimer, Paducah, I would have probably walked that faster than a cab <laughs> or an Uber would have come because Paducah is Paducah's not like <laughs> super good at Uber or Lyft or cabs. No. no. I got I promise you I got there faster than that would have happened. 
We weren't, I mean, we weren't super far, but we weren't as close as she thought. Either. I got there in a, a mile and a quarter in 20 minutes. I, she, when she rolled back up, I was like, oh my God, what are you doing here? <laughs> I, I told her, I was like, How I'm sorry. So if I had been more in shape, I could have run. And she's like, oh my gosh, I feel like you did that really fast. But anyway, picked her up, ran her to work. She was only like 10 minutes late. Yeah. So that was nice. <laughs> yeah, it was good. So anyway, it was just a, it was this really sad day, but that tidbit of it kind of made it funny and ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. So anyway, and she got her car fixed today and it wasn't that much. It was, it wasn't that bad. No. So she's got her car back. But it was, it was a, uh, when it rains, it pours kind of day. When it rains, it pours. She's like, oh, what else can go wrong? I'm like, God, don't say that. Yeah, don't say that. <laughs> Christy, yeah. my banking buddy. Also, between those two events, I had a lady come in when I was at work and she brought, like, a, no lie, I'm not exaggerating, 150 savings bonds to cash in. 150? It took two and a half hours. 150 and she, savings bonds? Yes. They were like from 1975 and up. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And they take a really long time to do. Like that. She's going to have to claim all that as income. Yeah. Yeah, she will. I hope she knows She's that. Like, Christy, oh my God. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Never say that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. <laughs> no, the, the car part didn't have anything to do with an animal, but. No, it didn't. It was just a. A serious Cumulative of day. Anyway. It was kind of. <laughs> I'm sorry about the piggies. Thank you. Very much. I hate that. Yes. Savings bonds are a pain in the butt trying to cash them in. I cashed a couple in several years ago. Yeah, it, I think I do remember that taking quite a bit of time. I mean, it's not an exorbitant amount of time if you have one or two, but I mean, it's 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 a long time when you have that many. You have to, there's a lot. Anyway, it's can't a can't imagine time. having that many savings bonds. Good <laughs> grief. Where'd she get them all? I don't know. I don't know. I, I won a... A $50 savings bond when I was little for finding the golden egg at a hospital Easter egg hunt. That's cute. Is that impressive? We also won our area Thank you. hunt Easter egg hunt. We should have told that story last week for Easter. Oh, that's a great story. We should have told that last week. We'll time. tell it this week. <laughs> okay. They don't do this anymore, but our local newspaper, the, the Paducah Sun... The Paducah Sun. So lame. <laughs> but anyway. Used to be the Sun Democrat. Used to be the Sun Democrat. Now it's the Paducah Sun. Anyway, they used to have like a regional Easter egg hunt. So the Paducah Sun would go and hide a golden egg somewhere in Paducah. Does anybody else do that in your towns? It's really fun. I haven't told about it yet. Oh. They would go and hide a golden egg somewhere in Paducah. Wow. And then every day leading up to East, like the week uh, leading up to Easter, they would put a clue in the newspaper that day. Okay. Yes. So one clue and then the next day a, another clue. And then, you know, you build your clues and try to find the Easter egg. And the winner, if you were a paper subscriber, you won a thousand dollars. And if you weren't a paper subscriber, you won 500. Mm -hmm. So we tried to do that every year that they did it. Yes. And we came really close. Like there's, I mean, I'm telling y'all, there was lots of people trying to find that too. We it came, wasn't just a few people. It was tons of people. But anyway, we came extremely close, like two or three years. Like we were right there. One year, Nikki was right beside the guy who found it. Yeah. And then there was another year that it was like in Stuart Nelson Park and somebody found it. We weren't close to them, but they found it. We were at the park. We just weren't in the same location. And I mean... We are not morning people, any of us. And you and the the clues got put out in the morning. Like 4 a.m. And we had to get up at freaking 5 in the morning. But we were determined. And what did we call it? We called Pete. the Easter egg Pete. Pete. We named it. We were like, we're going to find Pete We're going to find it this year. Anyway, <laughs> one year, one year, they put out a clue in the paper. One clue, right? I think we got it on one clue. I don't know. I, it was it was really early on. It was one or two clues, but I kept saying that I, I knew it was in this place. There was a clue about a building downtown. 
downtown. But that building wasn't around any public places or anything. And Laura was like, you know what? They've renovated a place on that road, like 10 blocks up the road from that building. Like they've just, just renovated this place. I bet it's there. Laura, on a whim, on her lunch break, just goes to this place. Well, you know what it was? It was a it was close to Layman's. It was like a block away from Layman's. I've grown up in that neighborhood and I kept telling them really for a different year too, that they painted the United States on the playground. Oh. And I was like, oh my God, they're going to put that egg on that playground where the United States is and say, you know, Kansas or something like that. And we've got like several neighborhoods where all the streets are Kansas, you know, names of states. Right. And I was like, I just know that if I was going to hide the egg, that's where I would put it. And that's the kind of clue I would put on it. And so Laura is like just determined that that egg is going to be there in that location. And sure enough, the clue that day was a building downtown that just happened to be on that road. Yes. The Irvin Cobb Hotel. Yes. So she goes on her lunch break to that place after one clue and finds that damn Easter egg. <laughs> That, yeah, that day it was a, uh, I mean, I think there had been like two clues because we knew it was states of some sort. I don't know. I think it was after one clue. <laughs> anyway, it was, it was exceptional. There's no way in hell anybody could have found that egg with the, <laughs> with the clues that were given. Laura just had like an intuition. I really did. It just spoke to me. It was ridiculous. But anyway, I just knew that egg was going to be there. We found that damn egg and we had subscribed to the paper like two weeks before. And so we won a thousand dollars. Yeah. I wish I had had my camera going when I found that egg. I thought I was going to die. It was awesome. Because we all split up. I mean, because we were like, it was lunchtime. We would go like early in the morning at the same time, but then on, you know, we were on our lunch hour and I was like, I'm going on my lunch hour. I just know. <laughs> and you know what? That was the last year they did it. They was, didn't, was they, it really? they didn't do it again after oh that. Oh my God. It was so great. <laughs> they were probably pissed. They probably thought it was an inside job that we found. Did you get quick. to keep the golden egg? Um, no, we had to turn it in. Cause I was pissed. Nikki was, was the actual paper. <laughs> what? Yeah. I forgot about that. Nikki was the one that subscribed. Nikki was the paper subscriber. Nikki was the one who had subscribed to the paper. I got all the glory. She did. So we didn't want Laura to go turn it in because Laura wasn't the actual paper subscriber. So we had Nikki go turn it in. I, I like stalked around there and guarded it until she got there. I was like, I guess if worse comes to worse, I'll just go grab the egg. Oh, that's right. Because you had Nikki, because you felt bad about it. Yeah. And I was like, I'll just, if worse comes to worse and somebody's coming, I'll just go grab the egg and turn it in for the 500. But if I can wait it out, so, <laughs> Nikki can come and get it. Oh yeah. I was working in Benton at the time. So <laughs> Laura called Nikki and said, come out here and pick this egg up off the ground so that you can say you found it. That's right. That's right. So Nikki, I had forgotten about that. So Laura, uh, away our big fraud. Our well, fraud. nobody from the Paducah Sun mom. is on here. Nikki got her picture in the paper. She, she did. did. <laughs> so Nikki goes and turns in that damn egg to the Paducah Sun. Can somebody take care of that? <laughs> they're person? From, surely they're taking care of him. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Nikki got her picture in the paper. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was great. We're such dorks. Now I'm going to jail for fraud. It's you not, did find it. Well, it's Laura not, did the right it's thing. It's not fraud. I told you where it was. Yeah, Laura had you come pick it up off the ground, so it wasn't you. You That's actually did find fraud. it. Nah, no, it's not. <laughs> We're a team. We are a team. That's right. Oh my god, it was so funny. That was a great story. That was a good story. What a great day. Yeah, uh, that I was can't awesome. believe we found that damn egg. It remember was, that year that it was under that little bridge and that person found it right beside you? Yeah. That, might, that might have been the last year. We we were really close that year. But oh, was, you know what? They did do it one more year there, there after was, we found it. There was probably 50 people at that ballpark looking for that egg. It was at the airplane park the last year was. So what was funny eggs on? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's great. What year was that? It's not, not really been that long. I mean. Oh, I feel like, oh, I feel like it was like 10 years ago. I was working at Benton. 
So I've been working well, at my current. Mars. I've been at my current job for eight years. This is my. This will be my eighth year at my current job, maybe and so. I was I was working in Benton. So maybe, it's it's been nine or ten years. Maybe so. <laughs> we need the dice for our game. Where is it? I don't know. I'm gonna go get it. Do we know? Wait, just pick a question. Well, I don't know. We need the dice. So we're, gonna play. we're gonna play categories. You saucy guys, category. we're going to make it be saucy category. So y'all just make this as saucy as you want. I can't believe, Laura, we've retained almost 200 people. Yes. Yeah, you just hit 200 again. Wow. Hey, that was a good story. Hey, guys, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please consider doing that. We have fun. We tell fun stories. You're, it's going to be worth it. You're going to like it. It's not like you're going to hit subscribe and then regret it. And if you do regret it, then that's on you. I don't. I didn't see it. Is there a categories box in there? No. Then I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay. I'll look one more place. We'll I'll just... Uh-oh. Oh, I dropped the cards. It's okay. We'll just pick a random letter. Somebody said that... Um, Ask your friends to pick a letter. Okay. Pick a letter. Here, wait. I'm on the trail. I'm on the trail. Pick a letter. How about smashing that like button? That's right, Angel Gal. You tell them. I did it. We can pick that one. But of course, no, Carrie said, for the next one. Carrie said F. Of course she did. <laughs> well, at least she didn't say D. True. Sandwiches. First one on the list. Sandwiches with F. Sandwiches with F. Frittata. Is that a sandwich? Fruit. Frittata. I don't know what is a frittata. I don't think so. Frisco melt. <gasps> That's my order at Steak and Shake and, and Nikki's too. Fried egg sandwich. Ah, uh, Frankenfurter. You know who? You know who has the best fried egg sandwich? No. Waffle House. Yes. I, mean, I don't think I like fried egg. Oh my sandwich. god, I love it. French dip, fried egg, fish, falafel. F is for fun. I'll pick a scrabble letter. That's a good way to do it. Fried so. chicken. But I found my dice. We're Fish. <laughs> ridiculous with these name Plus. tags. Flounder. <laughs> you don't like your name tag? <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like just a torn out piece of paper taped, scotch taped on my shirt. I'm doing my best. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Roll credits. Ruth Ann's credits. always doing her best. Ruth Ann made the name tags. <laughs> I'm doing my best job. Jamie, what did you say earlier? Because we were right in the middle of something and I couldn't go back and read it. Jamie said something like, um, <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Love you, Michelle. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Um, fermented sandwich. Wait, Jamie said something like, I love that Mary Beth's alter ego is some older woman with like a crafting impairment or something. I forgot what she said. What did you say? A crafting impairment. <laughs> what did you say, Jamie? Put it in there again. Carrie said I laughed out loud and scared my cat. <laughs> Southern Mermaid's like, try harder, MB. Okay. We're going to roll. I'm going to roll it A up. bunch of people have put in Frankfurters. What is that? Is it? Yeah. You don't know what a Frankfurter is? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's funny. What is it? Like beans oh. and franks. It's a hot dog. I didn't know what it was. I've heard of a frank. I haven't heard of a frankfurter. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that's funny. Vinny's telling my mom, I'm going to try not to be too... <laughs> Vinny <laughs> likes Mama Layman. He doesn't want to offend her. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you ready? Well, they can't even see that. You could have just picked any letter. How is anybody going to trust you? Well, I can't pick anything. So... You know I'm going to have to do that. It's C. Oh, my gosh. Put it up to the camera. It's C as in cow. <laughs> Is that funny? I'm just thinking of all the words you're trying not to say. <laughs> C as in cat. As in my cat. Oh, Is look. We wouldn't want to say that one. <laughs> we wouldn't want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and say it. <laughs> Don't be too naughty. Things that are wet. <laughs> Things. Oh, no. This start with C? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Uh, I, I said no. I said don't say it. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
of things that are wet with a C. Annie H says, luckily they're not showing us how to craft. <laughs> you know what, Annie H, if we were, I'd be doing my best. Jamie said, I don't remember something, oh, something about her alter ego is an old lady, very, oh, very unlike Sasha Fierce. <laughs> but it was something about crafting, too, I promise. Cucumbers, crabs, crotch <laughs> custard cushions. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. You never disappoint, Ruth Ann. Thanks. Oh, my. I just can't say it. Karen's like, I just can't say it. Karen's too sweet for yeah, us. Yes, she is. It, she's great. Oh, Jesus. It's true, Doug. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's do it. Pick a new letter. Okay. N. In as in no way. Yes. No way. In as in Nancy. Nancy. Let's see. <clears throat> Sounds. Sounds. With an N. Sounds with an N. Sounds like. <laughs> noise. Very good. Thanks. Um, Nagging. Oh. Mm. Noisemakers. A nay. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Noise. Nut. Noodles. Nine inch nails. Nanny nanny boo boo. Who's Isn't that said, a group? Who's yeah. No, actually it isn't a group. It's one person. Yeah. I said it for myself. I didn't read it. What? Nine inch nails. Then you said, is it a group? I know. It but really isn't. You it's were just, gonna say who said that? It's just one dude. Yeah, I knew that. How did you well then why'd you say is it a group? Well, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Nuts dropping from a tree. <laughs> Mazzy. Very good. Nom, nom, nom. Nitpicking. Nasty neighbors. Nasty neighbors is good. Yeah, neighbors it is. is noisy. Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the TikTok song. The no no song. I was trying to I was trying to sing that earlier. What was I singing that about? Oh, Dixie fell off the chair. God. <laughs> Dixie fell off the the seat in the car. <laughs> yeah, when like the the area between <laughs> the 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 back of the front seat and then the front the back seat that I called that the ditch. Dixie fell in the ditch <laughs> in the car last night. Okay. All right. T as in ta da. Wait, you've got to show the letter. Okay. T. T as in today. TikTok. You hey, wanna, Jamie. You want to choose one? You know that that girl on TikTok who's like, what's a video that lives in your head rent-free? I'm like, that. That's what lives in my head rent-free. You. You. I think about you all the time. Girl. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. Oh. She lives in my head rent free. So, what's a video that lives in your head rent free? <laughs> T. I'll go first. Cartoon characters. With what? A T? Yeah. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Mmm. These are Looney Tunes. That's a good one. I'm bad at this game. Tony the Tiger. Oh, that's Great. good. Tweety Bird. That's a good one. Let's see. I hope you're giving yourself Tiger, points. Tom. You get Tweety 10 Bird. points every Tom time you have an answer Tom that nobody cat. else has. Tweety Thundercats. Thomas the Tiger. Oh, that's a good one. That's a double. That's a double word score. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Double word score. Nikki got a double word score, too, for Tony the Tiger. Tigger. Tigger. Train. Oh, yeah. Thomas the Train. Jamie has a TikTok. Who's? Yeah, I follow her on TikTok. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm behind. I'm sorry. Who's Titty the Tugboat, though? <laughs> I don't know about Titty the Tugboat. <laughs> Me. Yes. Tiger's, Tiger's time. time. That's a triple <laughs> word score. She got triple words. 
Touche Turtle. I don't know who that is either. Mm -mm. Here? Mm -mm. Thundercats, Tigger. But the Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Ninja Turtles. How come you didn't spout that off right off the bat? I don't know. I was thinking Ninja Turtles. I wasn't thinking teenage. Oh, what a fail. <laughs> Totoro. That's my favorite. My good kid, job, Heather. It's my oldest daughter's favorite, too. I love Totoro. That's a good one. I didn't Can even think of it? that. Tinkerbell. Yes. Tiger Lily. I love Tiger Lily. Oh, I love Tiger Lily. Toto, the dog. Good one. Very nice, guys. Good job. Telly Tubbies. Oh my God. Oh, that's Jennifer, a good one. Jennifer, <laughs> Jennifer, are you on here? Say something. Teddy is the tugboat with boobies in the front. <laughs> I don't know about that, y'all. Y'all are watching some weird stuff. <laughs> Jennifer. That's bad. Jennifer. I love Totoro. Jennifer, are you on here? Do you remember <laughs> how much you love Teletubbies? Jennifer, though, oh my God. Poe, one's name is Poe. She loved Teletubbies. One's name is. That thing was so creepy. What's that the... baby in the sun. What's the other one's name? Poe and what? Tinky Winky. Oh, Tinky Winky. Lala. Lala. Poe. What's the last one? Tinky Winky, Dipsy, uh, La La, Poe. <laughs> oh my God, I watched a lot of that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, next one is K. That's what you get when your siblings are so much younger than you. Is yes. You watch a lot of weird stuff. Well, and the funny thing is, yeah, see, your parents probably missed out on that because you had to do all the watching with the kids. No, they watched it too. Um, we all watched well, it together. Megan, <laughs> Megan will always say... My, my girls are 10 years apart, and I watched everything with Katie, but Katie watched everything with Megan. So I'm going to be like, do you remember how I watched that 100 times? No. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I don't. I guess that was Katie. <laughs> Wait, somebody said it could be mesmerizing. Yeah, it was. It was one of those things that you can't not look at. We watched it every morning before church. Tell oh, baby, she loved, loved that show. That's oh, my like... God, it was a lot. <laughs> Jennifer. Okay, K. K, as in kite, as in kangaroo, as in, I don't know. I can't um, think of anything else. Things. Karate. Karate. Things you mix up. Things you mix up. Um, I, need to pick, I need to pick the category first and then roll the dice is what I need Things to you mix up. Crackers. Let's just see. Craft macaroni and cheese. Is that a good one? Laura. That was a good one. Ketchup. Knitting. Did you guys know there's a ketchup shortage? <gasps> Kool-Aid. Good is, one. Is, there's a ketchup shortage? Yeah. Ketchup doesn't start with a K. It does. Yeah, it does. C-A-T-S-U-P. K-E-T. C-H-U-P. Mm -mm. Ketchup. C A T S U P. That's cut soup. Ketchup. Cat soup. Cat soup. That's how I learned to spell ketchup when I was in school. Is that not how you learned to spell it when you were in school? <laughs> you can spell it that way, but you can spell it with a K too. I don't know. I thought that's how you spelled it. Cat soup is is, is <laughs> fake ketchup. Aaron's laughing at me. <laughs> That's Ruth Ann trying. <laughs> Thanks, a night. <laughs> oh. That's how we learned how to spell it. It was on my spelling test. <laughs> Carrie said that spelling is so 1725. Laura always says that I'm an old soul. I think I must have been reincarnated from yeah. something else. Because <laughs> I do. I say a lot of weird things. <laughs> I'll I'll say to Laura that we need to go post a, like a letter. Like I'll have a letter. I'll be like, will you go post that for me? Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> nobody says that. I do. I say a lot of weird things that are not right. Nate, you're here. We were just talking about you earlier. Hi, Nate. We're playing categories. Kinetic energy. Ooh, Sugar britches. Mixing it up. Sugar britches. That's a good one. Knickers. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Um, I don't know how to spill ketchup. <laughs> okay. Craft glue and glitter. This will be a good one. This is gonna be things you shout. You you roll the dice this time. Okay. And I'll hold this. Number five, things you shout. Mary Beth's gonna give you a letter. Hi, Nate. E, as in yes, nice things. Oh, oh, there's a perfect one that you shout with E. E. Yeah. Eek. No. The, somebody really smart's gonna come up with this. Uh, okay. E. Easter. MB, is it the post office, not an MS aisle? What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that MB. Means. Ew. 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 Is that it? No. No. It's the perfect thing to yell. E. And it starts with E. It's the perfect. Eureka. That's it. <laughs> Susan Funderburg got Eureka. Elephant. Right. Elephant. Like bonus elephant. Of course. Aaron. Susan, <laughs> of course, Susan Funderburg would get Eureka because she's a superhero. Susan Funderburg. Funderburg. <laughs> Ew. Eek. Aaron. Ew. Expletives. That's great. Expletives. That's, what a great answer. Who said that? Where um, is tigers? That? Tigers. Something? Eek. Yes. Tigers. Timeless treasures. <laughs> Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka. Look at Karen. F. Eek. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Ha! Was that good? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Eek. Encore. Denise, good one. Nice. Night. That's the perfect, that's the perfect answer. Oh, good. That's, that's about perfect. Echo. Good um, one. That's a good one. Echo. Three sheets, Marie. Um, what is it that enough? What is, what is it that Thrifty sings to try to remember her name? Some it's a sound of music, something about Marie. I don't know. What oh, you're Maria! Talking about. It's the Maria song. What? Thrifty tries to sing something to help remember her name. What Three are you sheets, talking Three about? Three sheets, Maria. <laughs> Three sheets, Marie. You can say post. It's called the post office, not the mail office. Gotcha. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You're not yet. Yeah, I get you. I agree with that. Laura, let's go post this letter. And then she's just like, post it. <laughs> Egads. Oh, that's a good one. Good one, Angel. Els Bells. That's a good one. That's Christy like needs British a snack. Way. Thanks, Mickey. How do you solve a problem like Maria? That's what they do when they see three sheets, Maria. That's good. <laughs> Thanks, Mickey. That was driving me crazy. <laughs> All right. You want me to pick one again? Yeah. Okay, this is a good one. Because of, like, content-wise, <laughs> things we find all the time are things from a souvenir shop. M. M. Things in a souvenir shop. As in Maria. Mailman. Um. Macrame. Oh, that's a good one. Macadamia nuts. <laughs> that's a, miniatures. That's perfect. Mugs. Mugs. That's oh my God. really good. And money. Magnets. Oh my God, that's good. Magnets. Perfect. Musk perfume. Memories. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Merchandise. You guys are good at this. Everybody's, they're so good. Mints. Moron. Maps. You guys are good. More. Memorabilia. <laughs> Max, match book covers. Wait, where'd that yes. go? Matchbox holders. I, I'm, I lost it. It's down. there. Yeah. Matchbox holders. Good one. Male stripper undies. Who said that? Lori. Lori. <laughs> Mickey ears. Good one. You have the hiccups. Maybe not. Maybe not. Matchbox cars. Marbles. I feel like I should know the one that Christy said, but I don't know what that is. 
Where is Christy? Moser glass. Oh, wait. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Somebody, I'm going to learn something. Somebody tell me what that is. You guys all know what it is, and I don't know what it is. Movie I posters. I don't know what anything is ever. Mentos candy. I love those. Da, 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 I love those. Da, da, da. TikToks where that lady puts the Mentos in the, she doesn't think it works. Oh and she God. puts the Mentos in the, in the Coke bottle. <laughs> it goes everywhere. <sighs> oh, I love TikTok. Me too. A night says Murano. Yeah, Murano. Good one. I, and I think it probably is in like higher end souvenir shops, I bet. Like um, paperweights? Auntie Christie. Like Jeanette Glass, but Mosser. Or Moser. How okay. do you say it? Moser or Moser? Just so I know next time. Like the glass turkey compote makers. Ah. Okay. So y'all are teaching me something. I knew you would. Okay. We need careers. Careers. Careers with. Okay. Moser. Oh. Thank you, Vinny. Oh, careers. Moser. Got it. Opera singer. They make a lot of pins on this. Very good. Careers with an O. When are the fat birds getting TikTok? You know, I've thought about it. I've thought about TikTok. Do you know Danny has a TikTok? No. You guys, the niche lady's on here playing with, along with us. She's got a TikTok. I have thought about She puts her animals and stuff on the TikTok a lot. I'm so what bad. Was Who said that? What? It was a... Uh... It's probably Sugar Bridges. Melissa. It was Melissa. Oh mom, why do you say no? What did my, what's my mom say no about? TikTok, probably. Oh. oh. I've thought about it, but I'm so bad at social media oh. anyway. I just don't think. Oh, wait. Put her put her TikTok. Name There's on Danny's um, screen name on TikTok. <laughs> so follow Danny on TikTok. That's cute. The Danny act, like the maniac. I don't like, think. Like Animaniacs. Isn't that cute? Adorable. Yeah. This is me taking my swallow Oh, no. I'm going to have to follow her <laughs> right now. What was that? Yeah, I already follow her. Well, good for you. <laughs> oh. Now I do. Mm -hmm. Okay, Danny. Got you. Maybe we need to have a TikTok. Probably people would be really mean to me, though. I don't like for people to be mean to me. I think Megan would be mortified if I tried oh, to be yeah. on TikTok. She'd be mortified. She'd be like, you know, you are all in my space. Oh, yeah. Mom. <laughs> uh, orchestra cello player. It's Very Nikki. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Nikki played her cello for the first time in like 20 years yesterday. <laughs> One year. How did it feel? Here. Did you feel good about it? I did. Good. Yeah, I felt like I had really done something with my life. Good job. Now what? Um, Maybe oh, a couple more. A, that one's too hard, yeah. Maybe a couple more? Yes. Okay. I have a letter. <laughs> should, should we even attempt to that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, go for it. Okay. So this one, number seven, things with balls. Things with balls. And I hope she does not roll a D. No, it's a B. <laughs> a Boys. Boys. <laughs> things like things like with balls. balls. <laughs> Badminton. No, that's birdies. <laughs> Baseball. Actually, they're shuttlecocks. Oh. Well, there you go. Boys. Uh, bowling alley. We've good been one. waiting on this one. Bulls. <laughs> oh, bowling alley's good. Basketball. Baseball. Barnyard animals. <laughs> Booed. Oh, no, he doesn't. A pool hall? Like billiards? Billiards. My dad plays pool. Mm -hmm. Buffaloes, billiards, beach balls, beach, beaches. 
bracelets, bulls, Bambi, Blake Dorman. <laughs> I'm sure he, he appreciates that, Jamie. <laughs> Poor, Poor Boot. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, that's kind of sad. Yeah, sorry, Boone. <laughs> ah. What did what happened? Oh, they're they're just laughing. Bearings, ball bearings. Very nice, Joanne. You get double points, whatever that means. <laughs> One of these days, the points are gonna matter, and you guys aren't even gonna know it. They're never going to matter. Ever. They are. No, they're not. They are. I can't wait for you to see what I've ordered. You're probably going to be like, this is the dumbest thing that you've ever done. And it's probably true. Is it bookmarks? No. Is it? Don't guess. <laughs> okay. I yeah, you it. can guess. No, I don't want to guess. Okay. Baby Jeff Jeff. <laughs> okay, go again. Go oh, again. Yes. Okay, let's see here. I like that little chubby Santa down there. Somebody said he was part of a set. Oh, yeah? And that the set is like 50 bucks. Well, that's cool. Boo Boo Bear. All right, here we go. Something that you would keep hidden. Something you would keep hidden. And the letter is A. Something you would keep hidden. Uh, acid. <laughs> Very good. Definitely. Acne. Oh, another good one. Your adultery. <laughs> adultery. That's a good one. Empty nesting. Your asshole. <laughs> don't, don't keep saying that. All of it. Adultery. All of it. <laughs> Wait. Carrie says all of my weed. Assets, that's a good one. You know you gotta hide your assets. Arousal. <laughs> affair. Address book. Arousal. That's funny. Apple of my eye. Mm. Good one. Attraction. Nice. Allegedly, because I don't have any. Your assets, Karen Radford says. That's a good one. What did Mazzy say? Oh. <laughs> good one, Mazzy. Everybody has those. Mila. <laughs> Adrenal glands. I, oh, my God. I, me too, Erin. I really do. Look at Christie's. <laughs> there. We're here. Uh -huh. Good one. Areolas. <laughs> Antique Christmas ornaments. A secret. <laughs> Very nice. Good job, everybody. An alibi. Oh, that's a good one. It's a good one. Good one, Lorianne. Vinny, take a drink. We're not doing this. We're, I'm not dealing with that right now. <laughs> Give me another one. Okay. Let's do one more. One more. Vinny, look it up. A secret pet. I had a secret pet once. Things that weigh less than one pound. All of us resellers know how much you can get for one pound. Right? And it's a D. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> At Fat Bird Finds, I'm serious. What is it? Is what Vinny's. Vinny, I'm not explaining that to you. You're, I if, can't. If, if Danny said, Vinny, Google is your friend. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to Google that one. That one needs a little, a few pictures. I, I'm, I'm not, I haven't had them. I can't. <laughs> okay. Things that weigh less than a pound. And I don't what, understand what, What's boys. the letter? Oh, D. Mm -hmm. I don't understand when boys are being sarcastic or when they're being <laughs> facetious. Uh, boys confuse me. <laughs> what was the freaking question? <laughs> Things that weigh less than a pound? Things that weigh less than a pound with a D. 
Of course, no, we've Lillian got Lillian trying to go for the double word score. Where She's, she says, she says, <laughs> "Oh wow, Lorian, you really went for that." And she she has another. That's a good one. one. She also says, "Dusty." <laughs> Dime bag. Oh my god, you guys! Image search Google Vinny. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, that's funny. I don't see my mom chiming in here. Your mom's probably <laughs> left us. There's no way she's still on here. I've lost her with the Santa Claus shit to begin with. <laughs> now she was just like, stop. Now we're on the saucy categories, which she has no interest in whatsoever. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't with a lot of these. <laughs> Nikki, everyone already said it. I don't know what I you're... I know. It took me a while to find it. <laughs> My job hurts. She's so calling awesome. you out. She's like, Nikki, some, somebody already said it. I know. I'm sorry. Oh. Call her out, Carrie. Call her out. Carrie said to Laura just say... Did you? <laughs> I did. I didn't mean to. Does your mouth hurt? Yes. <laughs> Oh, what a great day. Yeah. Let's see how many dislikes we have. No, I'm just kidding. We had a lot last week. Did Let we? me just say. Yeah, but we had a lot of people last week. Well, I don't think we deserved that many dislikes. <laughs> when I was just trying my. Mom said she's still there. Behave. behave. I was trying my hardest on those Easter eggs. And we got a lot of dislikes. I would just like to say, if you disliked our video last week, I need to, I need to talk to you. I, just <laughs> talk to me about it. Tell me. Just put it in the comments. Yeah. I need to understand. Because I was really trying my hardest. <laughs> uh, my mom says behave. <laughs> and my favorite thing that, that my youngest daughter used to say back to me was, I used to say, Megan, behave. And she'll, she used to say, but mama, I am have. <laughs> oh, Isn't Megan. That cute? <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. She'll say, oh, but I am have. <laughs> That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I oh, love it. So cute. Oh, hey, Cameron had a good week. Yeah. My brother, my brother, Cameron, he Her is... brother is the same age as my youngest daughter. Yeah, my little brother, he was born when I was 17. So my siblings are quite younger than I am. Jennifer was born when I was, I think, 12. Jennifer was born when I was 12 and Cameron when I was 17. Anyway, um, Cameron has been at uh, Southern Illinois College, junior college, these past two years playing baseball. Mm -hmm. And he just committed. He's transferring. Uh, to Midway University and is going to continue his baseball. So he made a commitment for baseball. Yay, Cameron. I know. I'm so proud of him. He's going to be excited. Yeah, he had a great week. He was wanting to get like closer to like a bigger school, like some more populated areas. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a small school he was at. Yeah, so yeah. He, got, he got a little bit of a scholarship to go to Midway. Yay. And I'm proud of him. Very nice. Very exciting. Dang, that is a big age gap. It's true. <laughs> Yes. Yep. I feel like he's kind of mine a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Used to, though, I would, like, carry him around in Walmart when he was little. People would come up to me and ask me questions. Like, how old is he? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we should, maybe we should reward everybody that stayed here with us by showing a few things. Like what? Like something better than the Santa stuff. Oh. Out of one of those boxes, even if we make a video out of it. Do you have something to show? Midway, it's in Kentucky. It's a uh, it's a small college. Um, it's it's near Lexington, I think. He pitches. He's a pitcher. He's close to Lexington. It'd be close to Lexington, Kentucky. We're thankful for Governor. She tries her best. <laughs> Vote for me. I'll try my best. I'll I'll do my best for you guys. <laughs> Vote for me. Uh, I'm gonna make bumper stickers. <laughs> Maybe I need to make bumper stickers. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. What, what what am I running for though? I don't know. Um, I don't know. Ruth Ann for what? 
Ruth Ann. I started to say, ask them. They're yeah. the ones that think of everything good. What What am I? He's a pitcher, not a catcher. I was a catcher. My daughter is 24 and has a one-year-old sister. We were 16 when we had my daughter. Oh, that's My daughter neat. is 24 and has a one-year-old sister. That's fun. That's awesome. Does he throw righty or southpaw? He's a righty. Yeah, I'm a huge baseball junkie as well, Susan. Me too. We're a big baseball family. Indeed. President, we need you. Ruth Ann for president. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Indeed. I really was a catcher, though. I know you were telling a joke, Auntie Christy. I really was a catcher in high school. All right. What uh, are, you, are you really going to show something else? Yeah, I think so. What is it? I don't know. Oh. I'm going to go in here and find something good. Start reliever or closer. Um, I think he's in the, I think he's in starting rotation right now at his college right now. Although I do think he came in as a, as a reliever the other day. I think he came in and pitched an inning um, in a, in a game the other day, but I think he is in his starting rotation right now. Currently, currently. <clears throat> yes, I'm 50. My brothers are 62 and 64. Yeah, so you feel me. I really enjoyed having having them be that much younger than me because I felt like I could help take care of them. <laughs> angels could use them then. You can you you can keep your angels. I'm mad at the angels. Actually, I'm not. I don't care anything about the angels. I don't like Albert Pujols. But but in in just to be just to be fair, I didn't like Albert Pujols when he played for the Cardinals. I never really liked him that much. That's probably an unpopular opinion, but whatever. My dad doesn't like Albert Pujols because he left the Cardinals, and he, we always root against the Angels because of that. <laughs> I don't either. Baseball positions do sound saucy. I agree with that. Oh, I found one thing, at least. I found one thing because my mom is still here. and I What want, is that? I want her to see that people like this. Because <laughs> I've got, we've got, we've got so much stuff for videos, Mary Beth. We're going to have to like crank out some videos. That what you, is that? That you don't have to edit for like a million hours. Like, I don't think they care if we just like crank out some videos that aren't very well edited. Stop. <laughs> Let me just say. Here's what Laura is. Well, I, stop. It's true. I'm a graphic designer. I am a creative person. Okay? I was an art major. I'm a I, I try to be a creative person. So when I when I make my videos, I try to take time and I try to do a good job. They're so good. And I try to make them funny. I try to throw in something funny here and there. But anyway, Laura's like can't you just throw this? Can't you just put this video together really quick and not edit it and not do this and not do that? And I'm like, well, I can, but me personally drives me nuts because I, I I try to do a good job and I try to take time and I try to make it just a little bit better than just you know throwing it up out there. There's an offer up happening over something they haven't seen yet. I know. It's Whatever I'm it is, it. ten dollars. I'm holding it. Anyway, anyway, Laura just doesn't understand me. I I do understand. No, you don't. I, I absolutely do. I'm gonna let you start editing videos. No, I'm just let's saying, trade jobs. No, I'm d I would if I could do it, but I can't do it. So what I'm saying is, we could just like put up a video where I just talk for 30 minutes about this. Or do something. it. Go for it. Because we're we're falling behind on our stuff. This I know. is like this is like. A really cool lot of stuff that we got. There's an from offer. Layman's. Oh my God, you guys are fine. <laughs> okay, Mom, watch this. It's 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 gonna be good. Look, you guys. So just coming up, I went with Mom to a, a to get a big estate of things. She paid five hundred dollars for a whole bunch of boxes that she had no idea what was in them. She just knew they'd be worth five hundred dollars, and we went through boxes and. There was stuff that she knew she couldn't sell, and she's like, "You can just have that." And we traded her some stuff from the auction. Just 
any but look, age, wait, any age is like, what the fudge are we bidding on? They're being silly, Annie. Annie, they they like they like to tease us. Sold for eight million six hundred and seventy five thousand three hundred and nine dollars. But look how cute somebody has like Ruth Ann has crafted this little basket. With these laminated vintage cars. This is vintage AF, y'all. Look at this. Look how cute these what is cards it? are. Look, they've, they've put all the little floral cards on the outside. And then look at the inside. Oh, my God. What is look it? Look at this girl. Look at the angel right there. Do you see her? But what is it? Look how gorgeous she is. And then here's like a little floral one. And look at this. These are like little holly hobby people in the snow. And look, how cute are those? Yes, she did. This, this Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, she did. <laughs> look at this little girl with her little puppy dog. Oh my God, there's a ballerina. And the bottom is this beautiful fan. Now, how cute is that? But what is it? It's made out of just vintage cards. It's a basket, Ruth Ann. Somebody put that in. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Melinda. <laughs> but, oh. but is it like laminated? It's like slick. Yeah, it's like laminated so that you don't ruin the cards. I mean, because they're just paper. <laughs> Ruth Ann, it's a. It's a freaking hat. <laughs> Laura is secretly a woo girl. What is that? What is that? I don't know oh what that means. I need to know what that means. I don't understand. <laughs> Somebody wants a shirt that says vintage AF. I think that's funny. That's pretty good. I like that one. Maybe we need to do that. I, I really like Who that. Who said one. that though? I don't want to steal somebody's idea. I think it was Christy as usual because she has all the best ideas. She really does. Christy, was that you? Where is it? It's, it might be back a little ways. Yeah, back somewhere. Merch yeah. idea. Angie Christy, you do that. You do it. Angie Christy, you need to be like a, you know, like a marketing person. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said I'd buy one, but only if it has a large picture on it. But wait, wait. If you, if you put my picture on it and say vintage AF, that means I'm vintage. If the shoe fits. That was terrible. I'll take a drink. Oh, take two drinks. That's a, oh. That's a really nice basket. If, if anybody's interested in the Does basket. Does anybody like that? Please tell yeah, they do. Oh, I mean, please, there was oh, a, there please was, tell my mom that, that this is cute. There was an impromptu offer up. Carrie well, I just know, bid like were, $8 million. I know, but they were kidding. I don't know. I think that they were really serious. Mid-century AF. Thanks, Mickey. That's better, right? <laughs> oh, so cute. I think they like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's cute. What's not to like? It's super cute. I'm pretty, you know... I'm pretty confident about that. I like when you're pretty confident about something. <laughs> Aaron likes it. We've been on here for like two hours. Aaron, did you ever did you do a video with your unboxing of ours or did I miss it? I keep looking for it. Unboxing what? Mom said no. Well, when <laughs> put that up, yeah. Aaron, when she bought the little, you know, the little. Um, Mystery box when we had mystery box night when we had oh, 10 yeah. mystery box night. No, it's still sitting on my desk. She says, "Laura, find the How I Met Your Mother episode about the Woo Girls." Okay, okay, that's what I'll do. We'll do that. Okay, Erin, that's okay. I'm not no pressure. I just didn't want to miss it if you did it because I thought it'd be cute to watch you un unbox it. Erin's so sweet. Mm -hmm. I love her. You can mm -hmm. hang it with a macrame like mm -hmm. planter. Mm -hmm. Joy has to wear the hat now. Well, she will not be doing that, Doug Grimes. I can assure you. I can promise you that one. That's great. <laughs> okay. Is that is that all we have? 
I don't know. I feel like it's all we have. <laughs> I'm trying to entertain with, with pulling a few things out. Well, that. you just you just keep going. I'm about to run did out you, of a drink. Did you see the postcard box Jeffrey sold last week? No, I didn't. I, I did not I did see that. Normally during Jeffrey's sale, especially toward the end of his sale, we're just like running around here like chickens with our heads cut off trying to do last minute stuff and find our stuff. That I've got a great sell. idea. You want me to show them a sneak preview of the salt and peppers and then we'll do that video for next week. They would get, a, they, they can get like an early view. I have to pee. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, don't do that. You're going to leave me. I'll um, get the box. Okay. More stuff, more stuff. Yeah. Okay. So you guys will give you a sneak preview of the salt and peppers. See, we've got all the stuff we got at this auction, this fantastic auction that we were at, but we keep it stacked up in there because we want to make a video of it. Yes. Salt and peppers. Okay. We'll show you. It'll be a secret. We can still do a video and still show you. <laughs> Mom, I do like the idea for love letters. Oh, what's the what's the idea for love letters? Did I miss that? Oh, you mean make this basket out of love letters? Well, that's sweet. Was that your idea, Mom? That's pretty cute. Massey wants me to hide Mary Beth's chair. Okay, wait, I will. Hang on. Okay. Okay. We'll see what she does. Sandy Otto, I don't edit my videos. Just do my unboxings in one take. I know, right? But see, she doesn't want to do that. She's so good at it. She's so good at the videos. They're so cute. Put love letters in the basket. Yes, that's adorable. <laughs> Everyone is leaving. Oh, no. Where are they going? Susan Funderburg. <laughs> you guys are walking around in the background, so they think that you're all leaving. Who said that? Uh, oh, man, salt and peppers. I just got about 60 or 70 at an auction last week. Where's my chair? Oh, my goodness. Who's in my chair? <laughs> oh. Why is my chair gone? I'm sorry. Why did you do that? They made me do it. Who did it? Mazzy made me do Here. it. Here. Oh, gosh. Okay, careful. wait. Just hang on. You got it? Yeah. Mazzy. Mickey said, I took your chair. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay. So we have this flat full of salt and pepper shakers. And it wasn't, it wasn't super cheap. No, we we paid up for this, but they're but. so cute. Okay, <laughs> mid century West. So like fifty cents of tomato, salt, and peppers. Yeah. Okay. There's there's actually tomatoes in here, but let's see. <gasps> let's take turns taking. Oh, <gasps> this guy matches. He does. This guy matches my donk. I don't know if you guys saw my video this week, <laughs> but um, we have another donkey cart. And this guy matches that. No, for some reason, almost nobody saw our video this week. I know. Our video didn't do very good this week. It was like 10th out of the last 10 videos yeah, for you, views. You never know about videos. If they don't have the word Goodwill in them or shop along, our videos don't typically do very well. Okay. We have these guys. Oh, my God. Look at these. Look at these. They're so big. And they're anthropomorphic. But they're going to email us over these. Aren't they cute? But what are we going to do? <laughs> we need to have a plan. Well, we, sometimes we don't have a plan. We're going to show. Okay. Don't email us over these yet. Because we're <laughs> going to make a video. And it's going to be out probably on Tuesday or Wednesday. Doug, I saw it and loved it. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. We're going to put out a video probably Tuesday or Wednesday over these salt and pepper shakers. So don't email us yet because that stresses me out. <laughs> I know. I'm just like wanting to treat you guys for staying so long. I've got framed. Look at these. You got framed for oh. what? Everybody's saying I did something. I took your chair. Aren't those cute? Look at those little mice. 
Look at these shells in here. Southern room. <laughs> Look, we got more shells. <laughs> Those are adorable. What? These aren't salt and pepper shakers. What are these? I don't know. These are like some handmade trolls. Yeesh, look, look how those look on camera. That's funny. They're little shelf sitters. Look at them. Those are cute. <laughs> That's hilarious. Danny, oh, you know you'll get emails now. <laughs> Mom said too late. <laughs> yeah. Oh. We've got some cute stuff in here. Yeah. And then there's just some like lonely ones that don't have matches. <laughs> You have to be careful. You better be careful. Like this, this alligator doesn't have a match. I don't think he's supposed to be kissing her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I think that. I think that. I think he's supposed to be kissing her. And oh. then there's just this random bunny in here. Look at him. Oh What's, my God, Mary Beth, he's so cute. What is he doing? Look at his side eye. He is like up to something bad, but he's got a stopper. What is it? He's not a shaker though. No, I don't know what he is. Is well, and he's not like a smash bank because there's no place to put the coins. I don't know what he is, but he is really, he's up to something. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, here's the little ones that are supposed to be kissing, I think. Isn't that sweet? I think we need to stop. <laughs> yeah, it was just supposed to be a sneak peek. That's it. That's all you get. That's a tease for next week's video. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Pooping. Yeah, that bunny's cute. It's he, really cute. But this guy matches our little donkey cart. Yeah, we were supposed to do shots out of your little... We'll have to do that next week. We'll get him out and sell him next week. Okay. The sombrero guy with the donkeys and the little cups. That'd be good. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're so cute. All right, guys. Southern Mermaid wants you to be spontaneous. Oh, I'm not good at that. <laughs> I like to have a plan. Laura <laughs> is really good at spontaneous. <laughs> Just like that. We just went and grabbed those salt and pepper shakers right out of there. I didn't She's like it. She's mad at me. Yeah. Laura and I are gonna, about to fight. <gasps> yeah. It's no. About, it's about to happen. No, the bunny wasn't squeezy, but he looked like he should have been. He but, did look like No, him. he wasn't. He's, he's kind of chalky looking, so he's very cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to get off here so you and I can fight. Hey, where did all this wine come from? I was out. The wine fairy. <gasps> the wine fairy. Now, if you if anybody does want to email us about the Santa or the yeah the Santa stuff. shit, as I said earlier, <laughs> that's what I said. That's when I said the S word. You're cut off. <laughs> you can't say that. I know, right? This is, this is a nice show. This is a nice, this is we're respectable at, show. We were having a nice time, and then look what happened. Look what you've done. <laughs> Laura said the S word. <laughs> anyway, if you liked any of the stuff from the haul <laughs> earlier with the Christmas stuff, then, sh yeah, email us over that. But I'm going to be stressed out if you email me over those salt and pepper shakers because we haven't technically shown them yet. <laughs> Nice, respectable show, not. Look at Jamie's. <laughs> the one where you can email about the Santa shit, but not the salt and pepper shakers. That's right. Okay, so if you would be so kind. <laughs> if you would be so kind as to come back and comment on the video, not just in the chat. That helps our channel a lot. And Auntie Christy has come up with a marvelous idea. Of oh my gosh, thank you! Oh so my much. god, Mazzy. Um, it, we need to stay on a few more minutes just for Mazzy. <laughs> yes, Auntie Christy has come up with a fantastic idea of naming our episodes just like you name a friend's episode in the comments. And so, if you want a good laugh, you can go back and read those because it's so funny. That's why people were saying the one with blah blah blah. So, that's how you name them, Mazzy. Have you bought from has Mazzy bought from us before? I've, she's been on here a lot, but I don't know if she's made one purchase. Mazzy, will you do me a favor and email us your your uh, shipping information? I'm going to send you some stickers. <laughs> I'm going to send you some stickers, and I'm going to send you 
one of the things that I've ordered that I haven't told anybody about yet. I, I guess from the comments, mom's my mom's like, peace out. <laughs> Can't take anymore. <laughs> Bye, Joy. So yeah, Mazzy, thank you. Thank you, honestly. That is so sweet. Very and sweet. We appreciate she that. She said I have not. So, so email us your, your information and I'm gonna send you something nice. <laughs> we promise we won't show up at your house. Who said that? No, me. I just said it. <laughs> yeah, we we won't show up unexpected. But these celery things though, what is up with those? I like them. They really, they are really feeling themselves. Look, they look, they look very confident about. They're life. really happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. We love you too, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> write down. I need to write down Mazzy. Okay. You, you, you do that, Ruthann. Karen Fitzgerald, they are fabulous. <laughs> they actually are kind of pricey on eBay. You know, so I don't know. But yeah, they're funny. They're hilarious. They'd be cute on a barbecue. Yes. They're pretty adorable. Celery used to be like avocados are now. Oh, I got you. So they were trendy. Celery was trendy in the 50s. Gotcha. <laughs> no, I want yeah, we don't have to, but it's it's fine. I want to, Mazzy. I want to I want to do that for you. <laughs> So, I mean, you, if you don't feel comfortable sending me your mailing address, that's fine. But I would, I would like to send you something if you would, if you would let me. All right, there for the stovetop. Oh well, sure. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Mm. You know, the big salt and pepper shakers are for the stovetop, right. which I knew, but I wasn't thinking about it like for these. I keep salt and pepper on my stove that are a black cat and a ghost. Year round. Year round. My Halloween Vinny. salt and pepper, they stay on my stove all year. List the cel celery salt and peppers on eBay and promote them to generate traffic. Oh, yeah. Very good. I think we promote every one of our listings, don't we? Yes. Uh, oh, bloody when you're making Bloody Marys, that's a great idea. <gasps> good one. Petites, vintage finds, oh, um, makes my cheeks hurt. That's what I was saying earlier. My cheeks are hurting tonight. I've been laughing so much. <laughs> Yeah, the Bloody Mary bar. Perfect. Perfect. Let's, let's stay on a little bit longer. Oh, okay. Well, that means I need to show something else. I'm going to take those away from you. That means I need to show something else. I'll find something. If we stay on longer, you're going to make me do an offer up. <gasps> Laura? Mary Beth doesn't like them. I know. I'm just saying... Oh, this little girl on this basket. You guys, look at this basket. I was looking at it closer. I think this little girl is like on a question mark. <laughs> this little girl. But anyway, it doesn't really matter what she's on. Look at her outfit. Isn't she cute? Look at her little hat and her little dress. Man, she's adorable. Laura has so many oh my gosh, she's looks. so cute. Here's my sneak peek. Are you ready? Yes. It's this vase. <laughs> oh my gosh. We also got this vase at the same auction. Look how pretty that is. It's Mark's Hager on the bottom. And this is huge. This is gigantic. Isn't that cool? So That's there's what she said. Laura. <laughs> anyway. Oh goodness. Anyway, this is my sneak peek. This is what I was gonna show. I love that. I do too. I think that's really pretty. I think that's so pretty. Yeah. Everything that we got at that auction was in really good shape. Yeah, but we were bidding on something else when you got this. What what else? Hmm. What else is in that lot? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember, but I, no, I think this is what we were going for in that lot. Okay, okay. I don't really remember, but I think that's really pretty. The first Hager is in a color that I like. <laughs> oh, that's funny. 
So yeah, that's my sneak peek. <laughs> They're all teasing me. But like Laura said that your sneak peek was going to be an offer up. You're throwing me under the bus. I'm just kidding. You're I'm being just, mean to me. No, I'm just kidding with them. I'm just kidding. Are you? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh. Woo girl. We're going to have to look up woo girl. I don't really know. Yes, what that because means. I really don't know if that should if I should like that or if I shouldn't because Southern Mermaid just said Jamie, woo girl slash little old lady. I don't want to be a little old lady. <laughs> hmm. If that was orange, we wouldn't have a chance. That's true. That's true. It would just be going right up there. That's a good point. On the piano. That's a good point. I didn't know how you're made red. I really, I would not have guessed that that was hate. I wouldn't have either. And a lot of times, you know, you can just walk into a room or a yard sale or something and see Hager across the way and know what it is. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that that was Hager. Vinny, it's not that I don't like them necessarily. I just, I don't know. It's just not my, it's not, it's not my vibe. I said that. I didn't mean to. It's okay. <laughs> it's, I, I just, <laughs> that's the reason he asked. Cause I said, I, I said, she has to be. <laughs> I just prefer to have the set prices. I prefer the set prices. Um, auctions make me nervous because I don't have an auctioneer's license and offer up seem auctiony to me. And so it's, it's a protection thing, really. I don't want to get in trouble. Mary, Mary Scott, I thought Laura's name is Joy. My mom's name is Joy. So if you see Joy Walden in the chat, that's my mom. <laughs> Yes. Good night, Karen Fitzgerald. Good night, Karen. Is the swung glass multiplying back there or am I getting double vision? Who said that? Well, Jamie. But Jamie, have you noticed the green one? No, she did. She noticed it. She was the first one to notice it the first night we had it. Oh, okay. Me? Yeah. Mid-century wasted? You are wasted. Oh, I'm not. But she, I'm just saying that because she just said, are they multiplying back there? No, they're not. Um... <laughs> They're not. That's the same number that we've always had. <laughs> I feel like there's more oranges. Mm. So, yeah, there's the... Well, she's going to show you. There's the little orange one. Someone commented on that earlier. Isn't there's, that cute? There's the little bittersweet one. It's really cute and chunky. It is. It's like me. <laughs> and then there's... Mom, the, I agree. It looks like magic marker. Oh, maybe the Hager. Mom's talking about the Hager mark. And then there's the taller orange one. So, yeah, we've got two orange. The other one's kind of orange. It's red, really. The other one's a marina. Oh, I know what. This one's the Amberina. I could show them a sneak preview of something that mom showed me a picture of that we might have next week for sale. So do you remember how you borrowed my car? Yes. So Laura's car was in the shop overnight. And since I have to work at, I, I'm still working from home. I let Laura borrow my car so that she would have a, a vehicle to drive to work this morning. So anyway, the first thing that I do when I get up in the morning is I look at Facebook. Okay. And so I was looking at Facebook this morning and I noticed that there's this dude who's local who always posts really good things for sale on Facebook marketplace, like really good things, like things that we would be interested in. And he promoted a tag sale an estate sale this morning. And I was like, Oh, I bet that's a really good estate sale. And I was looking at some of the pictures and I was like, I think I'll go to that. I get up, go in the bathroom, get my face ready, go put on actual clothing. Because when I work, I mean, let's face it, I just get out of bed and go to work. <laughs> I put on actual clothes. I put on earrings. I put on shoes. I go to get my purse to go to the estate tag sale. And I look out the window and I'm like, oh, Laura has my car. So I didn't get to go. I'm so sorry that that happened. <laughs> At Fat Bird, be sure to see if you can find your pics on Answer Room Trivia. Yes, I will do that. Okay. Jamie says, oh, yeah, the Amberina one was looking orange to me. Gotcha. Speaking of Amberina. Okay. 
check this out. We're about to have these next week on Flipping and Sipping. But you guys get a sneak preview because you hung in there and stayed late. But look. <gasps> Ooh, those are cool. Oh, my. I love those. You guys, come on. Look at those lids, Mary Beth. Those are great. Aren't those fantastic? Yes. I can't wait to put my hands on those and see if they glow and just, just look at them. They're so tall. Yeah, those are awesome. Those are fantastic. I yeah, know. Carrie, same. Yeah. Yeah. Agree. Oh, wait. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I was reading Mary Scott's comment down there. Where is it? I didn't, I think I missed that. At Vintage Vinny, yes, I know from last week. I somehow thought someone had given the name Joy to Laura as an alter oh. ego equivalent to Ruth Ann. Oh, sure gotcha. I, yeah, no, Joy is Laura's mom. Did it, Did somebody call me Joy? Maybe. <laughs> That's they quite, might possible. Have. They might have. Laura needs an alter ego. <gasps> what can your alter ego be? I don't know. It's just going to appear one day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's going to show itself. It, yeah, it's just going to naturally come about. I have one at work. Oh. oh. We, all, we all have alter egos at work. Really? What's your alter ego at work? <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to share that or not. <laughs> what is it? Well, like my boss is, his name is Richie and he's so nice and just so super sweet to everybody. And I mean, he just, I mean, only the slightest little thing would be grumpy, but his alter ego is Richard instead of Richie. Okay. And Graham, his alter ego is Carol. Okay. So when Graham gets upset with a customer or whatever, we call him Carol. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And um, I don't care about anybody else. I want to know what yours is. <laughs> I think it's like, and mine's not very good. That's why I'm just, I'm, I'm laughing about it. Okay. I have one, but you know, instead of Laura, it's Laura. <laughs> Laura? And really Graham has to say it for it to be funny. Okay. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. It is. It's really funny. Laura. 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 But only Laura, only Graham can say it apparently. He says it really good. Okay. Do you get grumpy with customers? No. Oh. Yeah. Laura. Not. <laughs> so, like, I never get grumpy with a customer, but, you know, like, I might. Be a little grumpy when they leave or something. Okay. <laughs> Great. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm sure that they all think it's funny to hear Nikki laughing over there in the corner. <laughs> I'm sure that people that I work with have lots of names for me, but I don't care to know what they are. <laughs> I think Ruth Ann is good for I you. I like Ruth Ann. <laughs> I I really do. I like it. I need a shirt that says Ruth Ann. <laughs> I might buy myself one. Oh, I love that I came up with that. Actually, Trina came <laughs> up with it at the post office. You didn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> yes, it was my story. Oh. <laughs> We've been on here for a long time. Yeah, we have. Do you have to work tomorrow? No. Oh, that's good. Bless your heart, Laura. <laughs> Poor Laura. <laughs> at least people don't call you Carla. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Liz Lemon. Christy Williams says make one under cricket. Ruth Ann doesn't know how to work a cricket. <laughs> Do you think that I'm incapable of working a cricket? Well, no. Do you remember when you used to have to do all those damn signs? Oh, my God. For the quilt shows? Yes. And you'd have to pick those yeah, that vinyl off of those signs. Laura. That was that was before there was a cricket. That's like an industrial sized cricket, where you had to do those. <sighs> so many signs. They were going to put me in charge of signs. Period. Right before I left. Ugh. Like it was all the signs for the quilt show. It was so many signs. Laura Moon Woman says it's funny because so many people say Laura wrong. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> what were we talking about? 
We were talking about I something. Think if you, I think <laughs> everybody loves this. I think if you have merch, mm -hmm. that this needs to be just. Hello, my name is. Yes, this needs to be the image. A torn up piece of paper with a piece of scotch tape that says, Hello, my name's Ruth Fan. <laughs> You're so tickled. Oh. I was thinking it would be good to have shirts that said, Ruth Ann's doing her best. Ruth Ann's doing her best. Yes. Or Ruth Ann for president, she's going to do her best. <laughs> Oh, so funny. I'll come up with something. The one where Ruth Ann died in a tragic cricket accident. Oh, God. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? Okay, you guys, you've got to name, you've got to name the episode. I you love Nikki howling in the background. <laughs> and at the bottom of it, say, I'm doing the best yes. I can. Ruth Ann for president. I'm doing the best I can. It's kind of like you're. It's kind of like our version of nailed it. I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. I think we need to do something for flipping and sipping. I think we need like last week's Easter eggs. Yes. I think that was great. I think we need to evolve on that. I think that we need to do something more creative. Like maybe we need to paint, or maybe we need to do some well, sort of craft. Definitely. Just like, you know, we had the ongoing paint-by-number saga. For I one, don't want to do that again. For one thing, we, we've got to do one more of those. <laughs> or something similar. The one where Laura said shit and Ruth Ann <laughs> hates offer-ups. I don't hate offer-ups. No, no, I hate he's, it. He's saying that I said that. Oh. He's just saying that I'm in trouble because I You're said, in trouble. Because I said that you didn't like them. Painting and drinking is good. Yes. I'm doing a latch hook. You could do a latch hook. I'm down with that. Hey, oh. we did offer ups on our tins, basically. We did like a buy it now price. Yeah. See what you guys think about this. We did. <laughs> Maybe they didn't see our tin pop up sale. Oh, yeah. We yeah. did like a claim it now price. Yeah. At $15. It was such a great idea. Like we started all of the tins at five dollars and a and a claim it now or a buy it now price at fifteen. So you could automatically just type in fifteen to claim it now. Yeah, you could go big and just be like fifteen. I think that might be how we do our aprons because we're gonna have a linen sale soon. I think we're gonna do it soon. We're gonna have linens and vintage aprons. Yes, because I think I can I think I can tackle the shipping on linens. So maybe we should do it that way. Maybe they should be like, yeah. Maybe we will even maybe we'll even include shipping, like do them for twenty, like a claim it now of twenty or twenty five, and include shipping. I think that's fun. I don't know. Yes, because when you include shipping, it makes it easier to oh, um, so much easier invoice. to invoice. <laughs> oh my god! Right? Yeah, yeah. Estimating shipping. The one where Ruth Ann said we need to go so we can fight. She <laughs> she's gonna fight me when this is over. Oh, that's, Laura! That's why we keep talking. <laughs> so we're still talking. What a racket! I tried so hard to get a scarf and Valentine's. Oh, because we had a theme sale like that. Yeah. Birds are tipsy. <laughs> Laura is. No. Not really. Vintage aprons are my weakness. Do you want a sneak peek of an apron, Jamie? Well, good. Do it. <laughs> Oh my God, Jimmy, you want one? Do you want to see one real quick? Oh my God, you are. Auntie Christie, Auntie Christie, read my comments. The ladies are still awake. Apparently, is Laura sloshed? she's sloshed. No. Is the cat eating your plant? He's eating it. His food's up there. Oh, his food bowl is up there. Laura just took us on a house. <laughs> my house is a mess. I have a lot of stuff in here right now. You don't want to yeah, see that. Yeah, the cat's eating. We put it up there because the dog gets the cat food. Yeah, that's so Dixie can't reach his his food. His food bowl's up there, and he has a little blanket. See, he's good. Oh. He's going to bite you. I know. He's not very nice. <laughs> he's kind of mean. Hi, food. So, yeah, his food bowl's up there. That's what he's doing. <sighs> I'll just get one. I'll just show. I'll just show Jamie one apron, okay? 
There's a whole box full. There's there's probably more aprons than we can sell in one sale. Yeah. We'll have to do a whole apron sale by itself. Okay. But look, isn't that cute? Is it? It's a gardening one. See, there's a little gardening hat and a little spade and the little blue flowers. Free range adulting is like just one? All that? See? All that and we just get one? Isn't that cute? Let me see it. <laughs> Man, this is for a skinny person. <laughs> I can't hardly get it tied behind me. Is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just funny for you to put on an apron. Well, I'm pretty domestic. <laughs> <laughs> I am not sized for this apron. <laughs> just FYI. It's for a kid. <laughs> oh, maybe so. It's not for me. It's so cute. The tree skirt that had a hole would make a great apron. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> So, but like for the aprons, so for the tins, I guess. Did you explain that? I don't the know. The offer up thing? We started the all the auctions at five, and then we had a claim it now price at 15 for the tins. But we, 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 the buyer was responsible for shipping. What I'm saying is we might up it just a tad and include shipping on the aprons because linens are so easy to ship. Yes. <laughs> That's for Ruth Ann's side hustle as a Waffle House cook. Somebody, not mentioning any names, Lori Ann, Sugar Bridges, said, imagine that you had that on naked. <laughs> Lori Ann, it wouldn't really leave much to be desired, honestly, Lori Ann. They want to know what's going to happen when you go into the post office with your Ruth Ann shirt on. <laughs> I, part of me wants to go tell Trina that I she's... Think really done me a favor yes i think trina would find it very very amusing because she was really funny when she said it yeah i think i need to tell trina that it she's... was it was totally her idea <laughs> a fat bird's boudoir calendar in just aprons oh no. doug nobody wants nobody to see that nobody's have <laughs> promise <laughs> oh my you guys would pay to not have to deal with that you should give trina one absolutely if we have ruth ann shirts made she's the first one that's oh getting yeah one. she's she's yeah oh my gosh <laughs> absolutely oh my lord <sighs> sugar bridges i can't believe you put sweet ass stuff on your name i think that's great <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> i was just sitting there reading her <laughs> reading her comments i'm like oh my god that's hilarious i think it's fantastic it's like the best decision ever. Oh, so funny. Do all the resellers. Like, each reseller has a month. I call June. What's the play? What's the play where they do that? Where the, the old vagina women? Ma oh, uh, the, no, the uh, old women do it? Oh, don't tell me. Uh, what's the name of that? Really, really oh, what popular is that? play. Girls. Calendar Girls. Yeah, that's a good play. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I want to see Jeffrey on a bear rug. Oh. Yeah. He gets September. I bet I can't find Lori Ann's Instagram thing that she was talking about us finding. Do you have a scavenger hunt or something, Lori Ann? I would do it. I call October, Jody <laughs> says. And Jamie said I'd photograph that calendar. I bet you would. Do you? Are you a photographer, Jamie? Are Jamie, you, let me just say. Jamie is super awesome and creative and great. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I just didn't know it, I think. Jamie's awesome. I want to be Jamie. Jody Renshaw, I photographed a Calendar Girls calendar for my local theater. Very nice, Jody. Awesome. Oh, J uh, Jamie said yes. <laughs> Sugar Bridges, it's against the reseller. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jody Renshaw's a photography professor. That's awesome. Wow. That's fantastic. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Auntie Christy, here she goes again. Or make a blue and orange shirt that has a blank name tag that says, hello, my name is. I'm doing the best I can. And then we can write in our own name with a shirt. That's a good idea. Oh, my God, that's cute. Auntie Christy? Auntie Christy, that 
right there is the merch for the um, corporate picnic. Yes, corporate picnic. Do you know, Angie Christie, That's that it. you are like, you should be in charge of some sort of marketing firm. No. <laughs> you, we need to hire her. <gasps> oh, look at that. Can we hire her? Can we hire Auntie Christy? Yes. We don't pay anything though. <laughs> <laughs> you can get, you can, you can, we'll match Mary Beth's salary <laughs> for you. Yeah. Oh, that's Alex. Oh, you guys want to play? Yeah. You have to promise to go, um, to follow go, sugar, follow britches. sugar britches though if we show you on here because i don't want to take away from her angie christy yes. from her instagram angie christy yes you can <laughs> okay everybody who is this i that's alex that's alex god she's gorgeous whose face is that on look how beautiful that is well alex is gorgeous anyway that's what i'm saying can I stay in the comfy cozy suite? Yes. I already said that. Oh, sorry. Who's that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> okay, anybody? Anybody got this one? Who is that? Well, that one, I don't know who it's supposed to be. I don't know who that is. Misty's dad. <gasps> oh. <laughs> but I think it might be George. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Sugar I... just said Misty's dad. Okay. Oh, that one's hard. I don't know who that is. I'm bad. These are good. I haven't seen myself yet. I'm bad at it. Who is that? I'm not good at this. This episode went to a really weird place. Yeah, Auntie here, it really did. I didn't intend to be on this long. I'm tired. Somehow we still have over 100. Oh, that's Stephanie? <gasps> is it? Maybe. That one's awesome. These are hard. They are hard. I don't know. Is that Barb? I don't think so. Okay, so Sugar Bridges said yes. That was Stephanie. The other one. The one before this one. Who's that? Lorianne, who's this one? I don't know who that is. Me neither. I don't know that one. Barb is in pink. Michelle? No. Oh, that might be somebody I Michelle Newton's covered. <gasps> oh, maybe, I don't know yeah. her very well, so. That might be me because I know I have glasses, but I don't know. I don't know. Is that you? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. These are challenging. I agree. Carrie, I'm good at this. Yeah, where, did you are, she, where did she get all our pictures, though? I guess she just like got them from our Instagram account. No, this one has like glasses on. I don't think so. It's blue eyes. It might be me. <laughs> it doesn't look like your nose, though. Oh, wait. I watched her. I can't remember her name. Christine Side Street Market. Christine. Oh. Okay. Christine Side Street Market. Very nice. I haven't seen her very many times. <laughs> These are hard for me. This is difficult. That's oh. you. That one's you. Oh, you ruined it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. Go back. I don't know who that is. Wait, we don't know who this one is. Is that Barb? It's a good one. No, they said, good night, Nettie. Good night, Nettie. 
Is that Barb? Lucid, maybe? Is it Elizabeth? Jamie? Jamie? Is it? <laughs> oh, Jamie. Is it? Jamie, just wait. I'm next. Hang on. Jamie, you, you look awesome. It look is Jamie. Hair. Look at your hair in that one. That's fantastic. These are hard for me. Vinny said, that is Jamie. Holy crap. Oh, that's great. Okay, wait. Here's a good one. Look at you. Damn. <laughs> oh, my God. Laura. Boy, you, you're now my favorite person. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Watch it not be me. I think it's supposed to be me. I think that's you. <laughs> I don't know why, but these are really difficult for me. Saucy. <laughs> I love the tattoos. Get those dreads, Laura. <laughs> that, oh, I know who that is. I know who this is. I got that one. You guys got this. Oh, yeah. There's Laura's alter ego. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, name her. Why don't you? Laura. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, Barb. One. That's a good one. Oh, oh. Who is that? I don't know. Who is that? Show it. Who that? Who is that? I don't know who that is. You got me on that one. Yeah, you got me too. I don't know who that is. Yeah, me either. I don't know that one. We'll have to keep going. Go back. Crazy Lamp Lady? Is it? Is it Carrie? Carrie? Go what? back. Go back and show it. Go back and show it. This one? Is that Carrie? Nice. She certainly wasn't going. <laughs> I just spit out my Oreos. <laughs> oh my God, that's great. Damn, Carrie. Carrie. Girl. <laughs> wow. Okay, go to the next one. Oh, that's one. funny. Okay. Hmm. I'm not positive. I've got a guess on this one, but I'll wait. Okay. <laughs> I just spit my Oreos out. Who that one? Who do you think that is? I was going to guess this is Aaron, like Jeffrey's Aaron. Oh, that's a good guess. Yep. See, see, yeah. Vinny guessed that too. Good job, guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Oh, that's great. Good job. Awesome. Oops. Well done. Those were fun. I love those. Oh, look, everybody got a hearing. Very, very nice. <laughs> Those are good. Oh, oh we, God, there's more. Oh, is there more? Yeah. Oh, it's your turn then. Are you in that set? I don't know. I think that was you. I don't think so. Yeah, this one. I don't think so. No, that was... No, that's Lori Ann. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Y'all just go... That was her, too. Y'all just go and follow Sugar Bridges' yes. sweet-ass stuff on Instagram. 10,000 points for Sugar Bridges, yes. There, there she is, Sugar Bridges' sweet-ass stuff. Yes. On Where Instagram. was Ruth Ann in that? <laughs> Y'all really... I don't know. Oh, she said there's two more sets you can check out later. Yes. Yep, you'll have to go, you'll have to go follow her to be able to see all the rest of them. There you were. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, so great. These are hilarious. Y'all just go and check that out for yourself. She's on Instagram. She's awesome. <laughs> we love it. Follow that sweet ass stuff. That's right. <laughs> All right, friends. I'm really glad I got to see myself in the tats, though. That was awesome. That was great. That's great. I'm I'm feeling it. <laughs> I still have this apron on. You could take that off. <laughs> oh, are you not feeling it? No, it's cute. Boots. You hate it. It's cute. Show us MB. No, you gotta go. No, you, go check her out yeah, on you gotta Instagram. Go do it. You gotta go go follow it. Sugar Bridge's sweet ass stuff on Instagram. <laughs> it's gonna be great. You're gonna enjoy it. And. Freaking subscribe to us. If you're watching this still, if you're still watching this and you haven't hit subscribe, there's an issue that we need to talk about. Ladies, yes. I'm officially coming there in early October and I'm bringing this up for lemon drop martinis. I'm just going to say this. Wait. Once. I'm just going to say this once, Jamie. Do not tease us. Yeah, that's what I was about to like say. that. Because if you're not coming... Yeah, that's what I was about to say. If you're not actually serious, <laughs> I'm going to be mad. If, if you, that's a lie. Jamie, you're going to, here's the thing. You're going to have to come here and it's going to be the beginning of the bus tour. Oh, you yeah. can come here, stay, and we will begin the bus tour. It's, it's going to be, it'll be fourth quarter. Everybody will be ready to buy stuff. Yeah. Ready to do stuff. Yes, it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're Jamie. doing it. We're doing the bus tour and we're doing the corporate picnic because <gasps> I'm not joking. My niece is getting married in Arkansas. That's <gasps> it. That's it. That'll be it. Arkansas is kind of far, but it's, it's not. not as far as California. It's not as far as California, <gasps> Jamie. It's we'll happening. come get you. We could come get you in Arkansas. We're so coming. Have to drive. It's 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 on, yeah. Jamie. Jamie, it's on. <laughs> Y'all. All right. Y'all. I'm excited about October now. Yep. I love it. Jamie. We're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> What's between here and Arkansas? Oh, a lot of stuff. Memphis? Nash Vegas? Nashville? Hot Florida. Springs? Yeah. I'm coming. It's on. <laughs> it's exciting. All right, guys. Are you ready to all this we've been on here for almost three hours yeah we better do it we keep we've this is a lot <laughs> it's been fun we love you guys love you guys don't so forget much. if you were a winner tonight to email us fatbirdfinds at, at gmail.com if you're mazzy also email us fatbirdfinds at gmail.com it's gonna be great um what else um email us about the santa but not the salt and pepper <laughs> Yeah, make sure you're subscribed. We're going to put out the salt and pepper shaker video this coming week. It's going to be great. Nikki's asleep. Um, <laughs> she really is. I guess we could make them a name tag if they wanted one. Who? Anybody. Who anybody that wanted one. Oh, yeah. We can do whatever you want. Maybe next week we'll do another craft. <laughs> I think we should. I think that's pretty popular. We said we were going to teach people games, different games. We could do that, but. Why don't you come up with a craft for next week? That'd be great. I'm really good at that. Are you? You come up with the craft and I'll do I, it. I think they loved seeing us try to do those Easter eggs and stuff. That if you'll really come funny. up with the craft, I'm in. Really? Yeah. Like you'll do an assemblage or something? I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> Or done in the simplage. Maybe that's not what we should start with. Maybe we'll start easier than that. Okay. Like okay. a popsicle stick house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, look, she said with popsicles. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some Elmer's glue and some popsicle sticks and see what happens. Okay. Okay. We could decoupage something. Oh, God in heaven. <laughs> Okay, guys, give us a like if you haven't done that already. We've lost a lot of people in like the last It's okay. Minutes. They're all going to bed. It's okay. Good night. Good night, everybody. We'll see you guys next week. Make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. Oh, this is now. Good night, everybody. See you next time. You didn't say it. I, what? We said it out of order. Let's start again. Let's go over. Let's go again. <laughs> okay. Make sure you stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Good night, everybody. <laughs>